Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Gentlemen, remove your caps as the Avella Marching Band performs the national anthem. Please remain standing at the conclusion of the anthem for the performance of the Avella alma mater. Good evening and welcome to our 2021 homecoming festivities. We would like to thank all of the family, community members, and Avella alumni in attendance this evening. Please direct your attention to the 50-yard line as we recognize this year's homecoming court. Members of the court are all seniors and were chosen by their classmates, members of the class of 2022. Homecoming court member is Miss Allie Brownlee. Allie is the daughter of Andrea and the late Frank Brownlee. Allie is a four year member of the varsity girls volleyball, basketball, and softball teams. She is also this year's president of both the student council and the Avella FFA chapter. Outside of academics, Allie is involved in the community service club, the science club, the students against destructive decisions, after graduation, Allie plans to attend a four-year college or university and major in business finance. Allie's escort, Alton Chase, is the son of Jonathan and Leah Chase. 
Alton is a six-year member of the cross-country team, a four-year member of both the academic team and the science club, and a three-year member of the National Honor Society, as well as the current secretary. This year, Alton is treasurer of the senior class. After gra graduation, Alton plans to attend the University of Pittsburgh and study biomedical engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Allie and Alton. Our second homecoming court member is Ms. Caitlin Frank. Caitlin is the daughter of Scott and Amanda Frank. Caitlin is a member of the varsity tennis team, the National Honor Society, and the Drama Club. Next fall, Caitlin will be attending either Ohio University or the University of Akron and majoring in business economics. Caitlin's escort, Garrett Hoare, is the son of Nicole Hoare and Doug Hoare. Garrett is a member of the varsity football team and FFA. He has attended Western Area Career and Technology Center for three years, studying auto mechanics. After graduation, Garrett plans to, on furthering his education to become a mechanic. Ladies and gentlemen, Caitlin and Garrett. Our next homecoming court member is Miss Morgan Andrick. Morgan is the daughter of Rhonda Kiefer and Jesse Andrick. Morgan is a member and secretary of Students Against Destructive Decisions, and she was a member of the girls' varsity volleyball team for two years. After graduation, Morgan plans on furthering her education by attending South Hills Beauty Academy to become a esthetician. Morgan's escort, Braden Rankin, is the son of Brad and Michelle Rankin. Braden is a member of the marching and concert bands, as well as the varsity baseball and football teams. He is also a member of the student council. Braden's future plans include attending West Virginia University to major in mechanical engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Morgan and Braden. Our fourth member of this year's homecoming court is Miss Sarah Pancari. Sarah is the daughter of Mark and Kathy Pancari. Sarah is a member of both the Art Club and Students Against Destructive Decisions. She was a two-year member of the girls' varsity volleyball team. After graduation, Sarah plans on attending the Vet Tech Institute of Pittsburgh to pursue her love of working with animals. Sarah's escort, Josh Rush is the son of Rodney and Trudy Rush. Josh is a member of the National Art Society, the academic team, and the boys varsity basketball team. This year, Josh is president of the senior class. After graduation, Josh plans on attending a four-year college or university with a major yet to be determined. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah and Josh. Our final final homecoming court member is Miss Emily Rice. Emily is the daughter of David and Christine Rice. Emily is a six-year member of both the Avella Marching Band, where she is a drum major, and the cross-country team, where she is captain. She has participated in both of these activities for six years. In addition, Emily is a member of the National Honor Society and is an editor for the school's newspaper. Outside of school, Emily plays piano and participates in 4-H. After college, Emily plans to attend a four-year college or university to major in biology and pre-med. Emily's escort, Brandon Samuel, is the son of Edward and Tammy Samuel. Brandon is a four-year member of the varsity football team where he serves as captain and has lettered the past three years. He has also lettered the past three years and is a current member of the varsity boys basketball team. This year, Brandon serves as vice president of the senior class. After graduation, Brandon plans on entering the workforce. Ladies and gentlemen, Emily and Brandon. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for your 2021 Avella Area High School Homecoming Court.
Thank you to the students and faculty for decorating the Avella campus and preparation for tonight's homecoming game. Thank you to the Football Boosters organization and the Avella Volunteer Fire Department for hosting the homecoming bonfire Wednesday night. A very special thank you to Missy Dreyer for overseeing Wednesday's, Wednesday's events and making our Avella homecoming a memorable one. And finally, thank you to all of the patrons, members of our community, and the alumni of Avella in attendance for participating in our homecoming pregame ceremony. Please stay and join us at halftime where we, be, we'll, where we will be announcing this year's homecoming king and queen. One more round of applause for our 2021 homecoming court. The Avella Football Boosters thanks all the volunteers for this evening's game as well as the 2022 season sponsors. Our 2022 sponsors include the Paris Construction Company, American Legion, the Avella Athletics Incorporated, Avella Body and Motor, Breezy Heights Tavern, Brownlee Trucking, the Bullpen, Rustic Inn, Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch Bar, Hartman & Hartman, HTC, Independence Township, R&K Disposal, Raccoon Valley Sportsman's Club, True Value Reagan Sales, BSN Sports, CNX, Supply One, Full Throttle Industries, Range Resources, SPSI, Stefkovich Funeral Home, Sweat Law, Tazak Law, Trudy Rooney, Wagner's Greenhouse, Wagner's Tire, Washington Federal, Robert Veteran, Zadas Wellsburg Auto Sales, PC Whip, in memory of Bill Cicchini, Washington Auto, Drover's Inn, Jake Schneider Bus Company, The Slovenian Bank, Heaven Sent Farms, Farmheart Farmhouse Florals, Star Rentals, LLC, Delavay. Be on the lookout this evening for Novella Football Booster members selling 50-50 tickets. The 50-50 raffle this evening gives you three chances to win. There's a $25 gift certificate to the Bullpen Rustic Inn, another $25 gift certificate for the Breezy Heights Tavern, and top prize this evening is, of course, half the take from tonight's sales. This evening in a Tri-County South Conference matchup, your Avella Eagles, led by head coach Ryan Cicchini, take on the Bearcats from Bentworth High School, led by head coach John Nabb. Introducing the 2021 Bearcats. Number five, Tristan Hackinson. Number eight, Ben Lukatich. Number 10, Seth Adams. Number 11, Caleb Peternell. Number 12, Vitalis Daniels. Number 15, Terrence Davis. Number 16, Brendan Taylor. Number 18, Tucker McMurray. Number 21, Drew Patricic. Number 24, Xavier Bell. Number 26, Patrick Oreski. Number 28, Gavin Piasecki. Number 33, Thatcher Spencer. Number 35, Harper. Number 44, Vinnie Logan. 
Number 45, Fallon O'Regan. Number 50, Datham Irvin. Number 51, Ethan Lukatic. Number 52, Ryan Hawley. Number 54, Rylan Hess. Number 55, Cameron McGaw. Number 56, Abe House. Number 58, Billy Leach. Number 60, Noah Youngblood. Number 66, Ethan Heinrich. 68, Shane Troy Catton. Number 77, Alex Rusilko. And number 82, Lucas Burke. Introducing the 2021 Avella Eagles. Number one, Reed Jaroski. Number two, Brandon Samuel. Number four, Cole Davidson. Number five, KJ Rush. Number six, Nate Rankin. Number 10, Chasten McCon. Number 11, Christian Patrine. Number 13, Cole Jaroski. Number 24, Austin Euler. Number 26, Noah Markle. Number 44, Jacob Lanch. Number 50, Calvin Kramer. Number 51, Eric Croker. Number 54, Brian Humensky. Number 55, Garrett Poor. Number 58, Hayden Gatewood. Number 69, Harrison Fisher. Number 70, Triton Shirley. Number 74, Tyler Jacobs. Number 75, Braden Rankin. Number 88, Eli Maidman, your 2021 Avella Eagles. the 
Once again in a Tri-County South Conference matchup, your Valley Eagles led by coach Ryan Cicchini take on the Bearcats from Bentworth High School led by head coach John Nabb. The officials for this evening's contest, head official is Terry Byrne, Lionel Mackin, Gerald Davis, Mark Grant, Mark Sacchino, and Jeff Parrish. Presented by Aurora Television Network, powered by the Hickory Telephone Company. Welcome to Avella High School. I'm Scott Willier with Jesse Saunders. Uh, tonight, homecoming, the pomp, the circumstance uh, on full display tonight. Uh, we got a football game here, too. Eagles are going to play host to two and four Bentworth and the Bearcats from Bentleyville. Uh, Bentleyworth looking to turn a page from last week after they took a 56 to nothing thumping from West Green. Eagles are coming off a 45 to 16 loss to Mapletown in a game where uh, they put up the most points they have all season in, in 16 points. Had a game here at halftime, but third quarter just let it slip a little bit out of hand uh, and, and ended up losing that one 40, 45 to 16. So. Uh, Jesse, uh, happy homecoming uh, to you if you are Ryan Cicchini and you're talking to the, uh, uh, the troops in the locker room here before we get started on this one. What are you telling them? What are the keys to tonight's game? Well, I think for the Eagles, the big thing is going to be to limit the big plays. Uh, we've seen them do a nice job uh, in some circumstances, Captains keeping the, the, Bearcats, the teams in check, and then all of a sudden, number bang, you got a 50-yard run, 50-yard pass. Taylor. I think number if the Eagles can limit that Parker. from the Bentworth offense, then they definitely the uh, stand a better two, chance Brandon of Samuel. just holding number on to the ball five, themselves Kenneth and getting Rush. some things going. Number 26. And Noah for Markle. Bentworth tonight, number I think we're probably going to see a lot of Fisher. Seth Adams. He's been kind of a leading uh, passer, a leading rusher uh, for that Bearcats uh, team. Coin toss. Uh, looks like this, Avella is going the to Eagles win the coin toss. And they are going to receive... Uh, the uh, the football as we yeah, well, start football here. Boosters are selling 50 -50 tickets this evening as well as a uh, number chance seven for several gift cards. The Be on the lookout for them in Again, the stands Maple tonight. Town, two and four. Also, the Valle Volunteer Eagles Fire Department is selling raffle number tickets one tonight. to fund the purchase of a the new fire The Big A is on the field, so the uh, it means it's homecoming, and that means uh, time to lace them up here. Yeah, this Bentworth team comes in, a team that likes to pass the ball. Uh, they have a senior receiver, Caleb Paternal, who has 27 catches, 493 yards, uh, one of the top receivers in the WPIL. Uh, so he's definitely going to be a weapon the Eagles are going to have to keep an eye on. Uh, they, don't, they, they do run the ball, but uh, not a ton. Uh, their leading rusher is actually senior quarterback, uh, Seth Adams, you mentioned. He has about 294 yards rushing. Uh, their next rusher only has 110. So, I mean, this is a team that I believe really likes to throw the ball, so that Eagles secondary is going to be tested. And you spoke with J.J. Nabb uh, earlier this week and, and asked about kind of the keys to the game. One of the things that he had mentioned um, uh, for, for them, uh, Adams, as you talked about, uh, Caleb Paternal, uh, Vitaly Daniels, Ethan Heinrich, and Ethan Lukic uh, are going to be the guys who are ready to go. 16, uh, so uh, we are ready to go here uh, at Novella. Homecoming 2021. And so it begins. And so you are absolutely right. So it begins indeed. Bentworth's kicker, Brendan Taylor, to kick this one off. And let's see where this goes. Getting underway on a gorgeous Friday night as the sun sinks further west. This one is... Fielded by Samuel, 
across the 20 yard line to around the 23 Three yard line, line pushed out of bounds by Vitaly Daniels. 23 yard line, it will be a Vela's ball there. First nice job by Brandon Sam. I'm not trying to do too much there, just field the ball cleanly and get a couple yards and scoot out of bounds and set up the offense, see what we can do. Well, first play from scrimmage for the Eagles. And let's see who the quarterback is going to be. It looks like Jaworski. It is Jaworski in there on an eye. Handed off to Rush. Across the 30 to the 36 yard line. And give him 11 on the play. That's going to be enough for a first down. Noah Marco on that rush. This Bentworth defense comes in giving up 46 and a half points per game. Uh, so this is something that maybe the Eagles can take advantage of. First down and 10, 36 yard line. Uh, Fake on the, and it looks like the ball is on the ground and a fumble and it's recovered. JJ Rush on the fumble, number by 66. By number 66. On the for the Bearcats. That's, that's Ethan Heinrich. That's Heinrich. And I think I may have this teed up for a, we'll ten. see if we've got a, a, uh, a review of this. Yeah, let's get it queued up here. Working on uh, technology here, are we good? So let me go ahead and hit play and let's see it. Maybe a little fast forward. And let's see what happened here. Looked to me like the, the exchange wasn't good between Jaworski and Kenny Rush. It was a quick handoff and Flag Kenny never really got the ball. and. Unfortunate for them because it looked like they were really starting to maybe get something going on the ground. False start against the Bearcats so is the call. Looking back Five live, will be the first penalty. play from it scrimmage for Bentworth. 15 yards to go, ball resting now on it's the going to be a first and 15. First ball resting 15. right at the 40 yard Bearcats. line. Adams is the running back, or the quarterback rather, Bell, the running back. Adams is gonna throw over the middle, incomplete. Adams he was looking for Daniels. For number 12, Daniels didn't, falls didn't get there, second Rush was there on the out. defense for Before Avella, it's gonna be second and 15 coming up. Tally Daniels coming in at about 6'2", 200 pounds, so he's going to be a weapon for that. Or 6'1", 200 pounds, he's a weapon for that offense. And some movement up front. Flag Is this going to be on Avella? There was the multiple guys moving However, on Avella, but out. let's see if they were drawn off. This would be the second false start penalty for Bentworth if it's on the Bearcats. They're already looking at a second down and long, and but this is on Avella. Get the five the yards back, back and it's going to be second down and 10 at the Avella 45 the yard line. The Avella 35 yard line. So for second down and 10, Adams. Steps up, plenty of time. Feels the heat, throws over Adam's the middle pass. to the 30-yard line. Looking deep, but not finding pass anyone is open there. He's caught by Lukic. Five-yard gain. And give him five, five on that catch. It's going to be third and about five Eleven yards. Oh six left to play here in the first Pressure got to quarter. Adams a little bit. Looked like Lukic had some room to move, but fortunately for the pressure, the throw wasn't quite there, and he just made the catch and fell down. Third and five at the Ivella 30 yard line. Big play here. They're gonna put Daniels in motion and they're gonna throw to Daniels off his fingertips incomplete. For number 12, Euler was Daniels there on the defense. We'll set up a fourth and five from the Ivella. Gotta figure they're probably gonna go here, this deep in Ivella territory outside of field goal range. Or 
down and five. Are going for Empty here. backfield five yards for to go. Adams and the Bearcats. Big play indeed, Mr. Saunders, the 30-yard line. Big, big stop here early in the game. Adams looking at the bench. He's got the signal. Adams is going to take it up the middle. 25, 20, 15 inside the 10-yard line. Calls his own number, makes his way up the middle off the left side. Gains Gang tackled the by the Eagles inside the 10, but line. it's first and first goal, and goal for, the for the Bearcats. It's one of the nice things about having a good passing game for the Bearcats is you can spread out the Eagle defense, and you have a running quarterback in Seth Adams who can also throw Ryan, the ball, so he's a, definitely there. a multiple threat Cold player, so that definitely the got the assist. Eagles leaning a little bit ball and he's able to take that right at the gut. 10, 16 left in the first quarter. First and goal. Got trips right side here. Looks like they're putting Daniels and Paternal in motion together back to the left side. It's a handoff to Paternal around the right side. And still on his feet, but not into the Number end zone. Pushed out of bounds right, right around the one yard line. Down to about the one yard line. We'll be second yeah, the Eagles did a nice job of stringing that play up. You gotta wrap them up. You have three, four guys around the, the ball. It kind of Eagles stopped his momentum, but then we wrapped them up and down. brought him down. Luckily, he didn't get in. Up the middle. There Number it is for a touchdown. A Seth Adams Seth on a one-yard scamper. And I think we've got our queued up here if we want to see this again, but uh, fairly easy here for Seth Adams. Yeah, it was. An extra point here as we show you the replay. Extra point is up and this is good. So there's your touchdown score. Seven to nothing, Bearcats take the opening lead. 9.26 left, first quarter. Back to Ovella after this. Hi, I'm Terry from Cross Creek Bait and Tackle Shop. We're located on the entrance to Cross Creek Lake. As you can see, we carry a large variety of tackles carry the largest assortment of live bait in Washington County. We also carry an assortment of live bait fish. We have a various selection of pontoon boats, 14 foot motor boats, kayaks, and canoes, all at affordable prices. Back to live action here, 926 left, opening quarter at Avella, seven to nothing, Bentworth. I mentioned earlier that Bentworth's given up 46 and a half points per game. Mavella giving up 44.8. So we might be in for a high scoring affair tonight. <laughs> Take the over tonight. Uh, Markle and Samuel back deep. This one is a tapper, on but onside, onside kick. kick. By the Bearcats. And let's see if the Bearcats have it. And if it did, did it go 10 yards? And it looks like where the ball is spotted right now, it's at the 49 yard line, it's going to be Bearcats football. Ref still talking it over here. Let's see. Not a lot of activity, though, going for that football for Avella. Yeah, really caught the return team sleeping. They're going to bring everybody in and see whose football this is. Question, probably whether the Bentworth player touched the ball beyond 10 yards. That would be the question, because right now the football is spotted just across the 50-yard line, which would mean that the, the football traveled maybe 11 yards. Uh, here's 
Going to be in there, going to award the football to Bentworth. The official call on the field is Bearcats ball. They'll start at the midfield line. Starter at midfield. First and 10 Bearcats from the 50. Yeah, it's not the start of Vela was looking for. It's, I mean, it was a nice onside kick. It wasn't the, the greatest onside kick, but he put it you know, right between two of Vela players, and it just, it just looked like they were totally caught off guard. Adams. Holding court here. Patricic in the backfield. This one is thrown over the middle, incomplete. What did Lukadich whipped Will around not in time? Second down now. It's going to be second to down and ten. Ball remains at the 50 yard line. Lukadich only a sophomore. He's coming in at uh, Nine, five foot five inches, 130 quarter. pounds. So he's definitely a quick scat back. But on that one, he was not looking. The pass was thrown. He had his head downfield. Second down and ten, midfield. Bentworth leading by seven after. Football back after a recovered onside kick. Adams is going to take it himself up the middle. Number uh, 10, Adams hard. calls his own number. Uh, around the 46 right yard again. line. Tackle made there by number 58, Gatewood. And Hayden Gatewood making the, the tackle we'll for now and six. the Avella Eagles after a gain of about four Avella yards. Side. It's going to be third and six. So Hayden Gatewood just broke his wrists maybe a month or so ago, I think, believe in hockey practice, and he's back out there, so uh, he must have got a decent prognosis, and good for him, because they need him on that defense. And just a freshman is Gatewood, third down and six. The throw over the middle and dropped by Vitaly Daniels, the Adams sophomore, 6'3", sophomore. Daniels falls incomplete, sets up fourth and, and six no to go. flags the on the, the field, and line. Bentworth Put is going to on for the send out the punt team. Big stop for the Eagles, stop the bleeding, Number so to 18. speak. We want to Tucker change the McMurray momentum a little bit early in this game. And looks that like the Eagles are waiting for a fake here. Two, Don't see any punt returner back. Samuel and Markle are the, are the two from Avella who are back furthest. Taylor is the punter standing at his own 40 yard line. It is a fake, it goes to Adams. It's over the middle and caught by Daniels. On the fake, and the Adams bag of tricks is on display 12. here Daniels for Bentworth. Makes enough yardage for the Bearcat first down. Ball it's going to be a first down to the 35 yard line. Yard line. First and I don't understand that defense no, there by Avella. I, I get not sending a guy back, but we just left a wide open lane there within six, seven yards. Maybe drop a linebacker or two back as well. 35 yard line. Adams. Hands the ball off to Patricic. And he's dropped for maybe a loss here, and it is a Number loss of about a yard. Patricic tries to make his way to the left rush. side. Met there by Rush for a TFL tackle for loss. Loss of about two on the play. We'll set up second and uh, Not a lot on the ground well, now for, the 37 yard line. for Bentworth so far in this game. They've, uh, they've certainly thrown the ball uh, quite a bit. A couple of trick plays. Yeah, you can see they're definitely a team that uses the pass to set up the run. And they're definitely a pass first offense. Adams is rolling. He is throwing incomplete, but he was chased in that backfield 10. by Huminski, who put pretty bounds. nice pressure on Adams 11. to get rid of it, and it's going to be third and long. Yeah, yeah real nice so pressure by Brock Huminski. Go, ball resting at the 37 yard line. Seven minutes, 37 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Our Eagles trailing seven, nothing. Got him behind the sticks here. We got to keep him there. 37 yard line, empty backfield. Will we see Adams up the middle? Let's see, they've spread him out. Paternal in motion. Fake to him. Adams with a football. Hit hard at the line of scrimmage. Number 10 tries to make his way through that left side. Watch Kenny Rush on that play. He almost seems to be spying Adams. Led by Rush. It's Rush and, and Jaroski making that tackle, Short and it's going to be fourth down, down and ten. Fourth down, ten yards to go. Ball resting at the 35-yard line and on the Vela side. Let's see if we actually have a punt here from Bentworth, or they're going for it. Yeah, you got to believe Avella will be ready for another fake if they would get into punt formation. Adams showing no sign that he's 
And he's going to put it up downfield, incomplete. Number 10 pass intended for number 11. They were looking for the turnover. Falls incomplete. It will be a turnover on down. It's going to be over first and ten from their own thirty-five yard line. Incomplete. Eagle, Looks down. like you had Euler and Markle over there on the defense, and the Eagles will take over at their own thirty-five. You have the feeling that that pass was designed that if it does get picked off, it's as good as a punt. So you want to throw that maybe downfield and get in a position where Favela intercepts it. He's still about 20 yards downfield. Jaroski is quarterbacking. You've got Rush in the tailback position. No, and it off to Markle. Makes his way to the line of scrimmage, maybe about a yard further. Ahead number to about the 35, the maybe 36 that yard. Give him a yard Rupitish on the carry. 35 Harper on the assist. One yard gain. Second down. Nine yards to go. Ball at the 36. Yeah, I like. Kenny rushes the fullback here. To hear the Steeler fans always wanting uh, Derek Watt. And every every week you hear, well, the Eagles are employing that strategy this week. That's a load coming through there, leading the way for minutes of the bus, right? You know, yeah. rolling through in Three Rivers Stadium. Eagles. Oh, pass. he's open. He's wide oh. open and just so outside the fingertips of Samuel. Falls incomplete, will be third down, nine yards to go. Samuel's going to have a highlight tape of almost touchdown <laughs> catches. He's broken open several times this year, and just quarterbacks have not always been able to connect with him. Uh, Jaworski's pass just a little bit too far. I really like that call there. I mean, you could see the Bentworth defense was all crammed in, looking for another running play. So you see we can get it downfield. We just got to connect on some of those long balls. Third and nine at the 36-yard line. I formation. Handoff is delayed to Markle, who's running right side. He's swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. So no, it's going to be fourth and, the right and long side, coming up here. What do you do if you're no uh, Ryan Cicchini? You go for this or you try to punt this football? Line. I would punt this away. It's too early in the game to Adams. be going for it in your Brady own territory, for the especially with the defense. I mean, they're you know they're they're hit or miss with big plays, and I mean maybe they are going for it. But I think I would probably punt here. They send in Lanch with a play call. Uh, penalty flag. And that's going to be too many, probably too many. Flag men on the field. Five-yard penalty here. I that think this is a. I think this is going to get him for a delay. Call is against the Vela. Five-yard penalty. So that's going to move the football back to around the 31-yard line. I think that would make your decision for you. But no, it looks like they are going to go for it. So it's fourth and 14. Empty backfield. You got to believe they're coming. Jaworski's got three wide receivers on the left side. He's got time. He was thrown over the middle. It is, is it oh, caught? It is caught by Noah Markle right near the sticks. Oh, he might have got that. This is going to be close. 45 yard line. This is going to be measurement material. We're sitting right up here, and it, and it looks to be very, very, very close. Boy, that was a big time catch by Noah Markle. Way to concentrate. That, and I don't know if we have that queued up or not because they're going to call it a first down. Oh, that was a big catch. Bentworth's coach is on the field wondering. What's going on? But I, it did look. I mean, the, the the nose of the football is crossing the 45-yard line. Markle makes the catch on a homecoming. Under five to play. Shotgun. Here's Rush. He's gonna throw. Sample. Oh, here goes Sample. Catch. Ten, five, not gonna catch him. Touchdown. 55 yards to the house. 
55 yards. I guess I'm not doing strategy anymore. I would have punted that ball, and here they are getting a great catch and a 55-yard touchdown. What, a, what an amount of confidence by Ryan Cicchini showing his team there. And just like that, we're an extra point away from tying this, or let's see if Avella goes 4-2. Let's see what happened here. As Avella lines up for the point after attempt. It's like Avella got an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Hey, when you haven't won all year, I mean, if you're going to let the excitement flow, and sometimes those penalties might catch up to you, but I, I think Ryan Cicchini's probably just happy to see his offense explode for that big play. Right, so unsportsmanlike call on, it looks like, Unsportsmanlike on Avella, and this will be assessed again on the kickoff. Here is the point after try. The correction is it will be assessed on the point after attempt. Oh. And so we take that back. This is uh, going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, which is going to move the football out all the way to the, what, 18-yard line. That is a killer penalty. penalty. We'll place the ball at the 18-yard line for the point after attempt. So uh, now's the time where you try to trot on Martin Gramatica here for <laughs> the extra point. <clears throat> Let's see uh, if Avella's got something in its bag of tricks. Yeah, this is a... This is this might just be your old Hail Mary play, and maybe, maybe have some receivers crossing Maybe get, get some D-backs caught up against each other. Jaroski, he's looking for Samuel again. Guess what? It's caught. It's good. And it's an 8-7 to seven Eagles lead. What a catch. You count him out. Who needs Martin Gramatica? Wow, that was a great catch by Brandon Samuel. This is Brandon Samuel's night so far. It's the Samuel Show, and we're happy to bring it to you. Time out here from Avella. The Eagles with an 8-7 lead on Bentworth back right after this. Left to play in the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Number 11, Caleb Peter. 48 left the opening number quarter. 56, Brian it's Uvesky. the Eagles 8 to 7 Uvesky. with a lead at homecoming. Kaminsky to kick this one off. Fielded around the 17 yard line and out of bounds. Kaminsky's kick is marked out of bounds. Will be a flag on the play there. That'll be assessed, and the ball will be moved up to the 35 yard line. So I think we've seen signs from Sam all year. I mean, he's broken open a number of times and to be rewarded the there, not only with the touchdown, but it comes back Eagles. with a two point ball conversion. That's a big, big play by the senior. Big group of plays. And a two-point conversion line. after a 15-yard penalty. From their uh, own wasn't, uh, yard wasn't from the three there. Here's Bentworth lining up. Adams, a give it. Number 82 on the carry, makes his way around two. the right-hand side. Number 82, that's Lucas Burt. Making Tackle the carry. Made by Hayden Gatewood there. That up 
to about a seven yard seven yards. gain. It will be second and three, ball now resting at the 42 yard, yard line is where the football is spotted. Hayden Gatewood came all the way from the right defensive end position to make Number that tackle, so that definitely saved that a much carry. bigger run. Adams again wants the ball. He's got it himself up the middle at a 50. Number it, 10, taking Adams down at the 45 yard line. That's Markle side. making the stop. On the tackle Adams is he shaking up on the play. And Adams, their quarterback, shaking First up. First down for the Bearcats. Ball resting at the Avella 45 yard line. Coaches and training staff who are out there, and they're going to take. Adams out, maybe it's hopefully, it's nothing serious, but the wind may be knocked out of him. A backup quarterback, Vitaly Daniels. At least he's the only one I see with stats here, has four passing attempts. And he's gonna take it himself up the middle. And Number Rush 12 on the keeper, Daniel makes the stop up cleaning it up, but it the was yard line. sniffed out nine. Rush by Jarowski in on the tackle. And second down and nine coming up. Looks like Adams back in there. I do wonder, the passing game has not been there for Bentworth, but the running game here in this series and penalty flags fly. fly. This is, and it looks like the coach wants Waiting to have a timeout, the so they are out. not going to assess a penalty flag, but it is going to be a timeout. So first timeout, timeout taken for Bentworth. Eight to seven. Second down and nine coming up. playing very well here in this first quarter. Spirited effort. Yeah, the Eagles have come to play. Even on that long run, that was a really nice hit by Noah Markle coming up from the safety position. Maybe uh, knock the wind out of Seth Adams a little bit. But nothing's going to be easy for Bentworth tonight. Avella's making them earn it for sure. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the Bella Volunteer Fire Department is selling tickets for a chance to win $3,000 to help fund a brand new fire truck. After the Bearcats timeout, ball resting at the 44 yard line on the Avella side. It is second down, a long nine to go for the Bearcats Adams. there. With Burt behind him, Adams is gonna throw. It is caught. To Vitaly Daniels Adams out of bounds right around 12. the 36 Daniels yard line. That's not going to be enough for a first down. By Euler and Jaroski. It's going to be third down Picks coming up. up nine and on eight maybe on a couple play. of we'll yards a here. One. Vitaly Daniels is a big boy. Ball now at the 36 yard line on the Six, Avella side. Listed on our sheet 6 3 0 for weight. So I, you know, I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to tell anybody. <laughs> Uh, penalty flags, flies, the encroachment on the Eagles, and that's going to mean a first down, a first down for the Bearcats. The Bearcats. They're going to move it to the 31 yard line and have a fresh set of downs. Ball now resting at the 31 yard line. Adams. Throwing right side, Daniels. But I gotta tell you, Oilers been all over him tonight, making the catch or making the tackle Daniels here, and has played pretty good defense. Yeah, the Oilers got quick feet. To go. I mean, he doesn't give Daniels a lot of room to move. Looks like they're gonna keep going to that play, that quick out. Second and six. Oilers a solid tackler. Second down and six. Pick up a four. Adams again gonna throw. Split's pass. coming, but it is a screen pass. It's to Burt. Nice open Number field tackle. On the Cole Davidson. That's Burt across the left hand side picks up enough yardage for Maybe a, a touchdown saving tackle on that down. play. And maybe also tripped up a little bit there. by Patrine. Ball now but resting at first the down. Yard line, first and ten Bearcats. For Bentworth. Inside the 20 yard line. Here's 
Adams. They put Petrine in motion. And that's Flag on the play. Guess that may be a false start. A false start, or the question is, is our men moving? Too many men moving. Yeah, maybe a little bit No, it, it is. It's uh, gonna be on, it is going to be on Bentworth. Yeah, he signaled encroachment, but then he pointed at yeah. Bentworth. Um, and he's saying offside, I'm not sure what he's saying. Five yard penalty against the Bearcats, backs it up to a first and 15, ball now resting at the 23 yard line. I wonder if you didn't have the stop for the man in motion. False start is the call. 23 yard line on a first and 15. Adams calls for the ball. Bobbles, he's gonna roll right. A lot of time. A lot of, a lot of time, and it's caught to Petrine. That's paternal. Paternal, rather. Now the stake inside the five 11. yard line. Peterno is complete, brought down at about the nine yard line. Call it the eight yard line there for a first down. It seems like every team we play, or at least maybe every other week, has a Called uniform very similar to a fella. Goal. <laughs> so he's wearing Christian Petrine's it's number 11. Russian Davidson responsible for the tackle there. Yeah, there was not a lot of pressure on that. It, Seth Adams had a ton of time to throw. At the four yard line, empty backfield here for Bentworth. And they're gonna just run Adams up the middle. Let's see what happens. He's gonna pass Blitz. right side. Blitz coming. Fitz throat. It's caught. Nice tackle. Uh, again, Adams caught by Paternal. Number eleven. A touchdown tackle made by number twenty. Six. Saving Noah a tackle Markle. from Markle. That's gonna be second down and goal. Two yard gain on the play. Sets the ball uh, about the two yard line. Two yard line is what we'll spot and goal the football. Two. A minute left. Where Adams' Here's ability to run quarter, the ball really keeps the Eagles' defense a little bit on their toes because you don't know where he's going to pull it down and go. Burt in the backfield on second down and goal. They give it to Burt in the backfield, and he's into the, the end zone for a two-yard two touchdown for Bentworth. Touchdown, Bearcats. It's a nice looking drive for Bentworth. You can see just the range of different passing plays they have. I and mean, they start off by a couple quick outs and then they get Adams out of the pocket and create some room down the field. So you can see they have a diverse passing attack and that's gonna be something that's gonna be a challenge for the Eagles this whole game. Number 15 sets for the Adams point will out. hold, Davis will attempt the point after. They called for it. And it's Flag gonna be on the play. Sides on the Eagles. And we're trying to get there to stop them here. Maybe got started just a little too the soon. Encroachment is the call against our Eagles. Half the distance of the goal. Yeah, that one was pretty clear. That was not Joe Hayden two weeks ago for, for the Steelers. Was <laughs> <laughs> they were well early on that play. They're going to go for two. Uh, we'll try it again here. And you're right, it looks like they will go for two. Adams. It's going to be thrown, and it's going to be incomplete. So, the pass intended no good. For number 12 from Adams trying to, to link up to Vitaly Daniels, who in an errant pass, so 13 to eight is your score. 51 seconds left. Opening quarter, Avella to receive a kickoff. When we return to Avella right after this. Range Resources has proudly focused on delivering energy solutions for more than 40 years. Our core values, performance, innovation, integrity, and transparency, guide us in the work we do every day as a natural gas industry leader. These values reflect how we operate as a company and are deeply rooted in our commitment to improving the communities where we work. These leading efforts have included pioneering the Marcellus Shale, now among the world's largest natural gas fields, becoming the first company to voluntarily disclose hydraulic fracturing fluids and developing large-scale water recycling for shale development. 
Our commitment to fostering thriving communities begins within the walls of our company, starting with the safety and well-being of our employees and extending to the communities Taylor where we live, work, here. and support. Natural or gas or is powering our lives, providing a cleaner field, future. Oiler fielded it through his hands and lands on it. And the Eagles will have this one Number right at the 36 Austin yard line. Oiler on the recovery there. It will be the Eagles ball resting at the 37 yard line. First and 10 Eagles from the 37. So, oh God, sorry. Hey, well, Eagles, uh, e Eagles uh, fought back, make an 8-7 game, 13 to eight now. 48 seconds left, first quarter. Probably a pretty important drive here to keep the punch counter punch narrative going here. Yeah, you want to respond right away. Eagles definitely came to play, but this Bentworth team is a solid team, and you got to let them know that you're still here to to make us a game. Jaroski. Is quarterbacking, on but let's see. Yeah, this one looks like this one's going to be on Avella. Triton Shirley might have false start there. But we have not had an official call on this. Yeah, it looked like Bentworth might have gone first. I mean, Triton definitely moved, but it's hard to tell who jumped first. Uh, encroachment it's to call against the Bearcats. On five on yard uh, penalty will be Bentworth. first and five now for our Eagles. The Bentworth crowd doesn't like that, but the Avella crowd is very excited about that call. Ball resting at the Makes it a first and five to start this drive five. at the 41-yard line. Jaworski under center, handed off to Markle at the 45. Now keep the legs keep going no, and gets Markle up to around the 50-yard line. So and give him eight yards and a first down. And midfield is That's the Eagles. spot first of football. Down. Yeah, Bentworth helped the Eagles out with that five-yard penalty. No, like you said, gets those legs going and probably gets an extra three yards after Number contact. Number 66, Heinrich on the assist. He's Ball running downhill. First and 10, Eagles. 30 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Most likely the final play here of quarter number one. Jaworski in an eye formation. They give it to Markle again, left side. To the 44 no, yard Markle line. Off the left hand side once again. Flag on the play. And flags fly afterwards. That's going to be Maybe a personal foul. A little testy with. here. Yeah, that was clearly on number 35 for Bentworth. Now this is uh, about a five yard gain for Markle on the carry. And then let's see what will happen here in terms of penalties. Jamar Harper, that's a 5'9", 230-pound defensive lineman. And a personal foul. Dead ball foul. personal foul is the call against the Bearcats. 15 yards penalty. We'll set up the penalty. penalty. First down! And that'll mark the football at the 30-yard line. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Ball resting at the 30-yard line on the Bearcats side. First and 10 here. And that is going to be As it. As the clock winds uh, down, ladies and gentlemen, we bring one. ourselves to the end of this first After quarter. After one, Eagles lead, it's or, been I'm more sorry, 13, Avella 8, 8 back to Avella right after these words. Galaxy Paris Contracting Company Incorporated has had a wealth of success that began in 1928 in areas ranging from road construction to coal mining to underground utilities, industrial services, and heavy construction. And in today's ever-expanding energy services industry, the company provides site development, foundations, buildings, undergrounds, process piping, installation, and construction management. The future is bright for the company under the guidance of Alex E. Paris, CEO, and Timothy A. Paris, Vice President of Operations. One constant during the operation of the Alex E. Paris Contracting Corporation has been the company's commitment to hiring a professional, dedicated workforce. With today's continually evolving construction and energy climate, the company is dedicated to providing competitive wages and benefits and enhancing employee skills through continual training and professional development. And whether working locally, regionally, or nationally, skilled workers are needed in a variety of areas. Join us and help to continue the rich tradition associated with Alex E. Paris Contracting Incorporated. After the quarter break, it is the Valley Eagles ball, first and 10 
Back live. Welcome to Friday Night Lights, presented by Aurora Television Network and powered by the Hickory Telephone Company. Scott Willier, Jesse Saunders. It's first and 10. Eagles driving here at the 30 yard line. There's Rush up that the middle, and he keeps moving. He's close to the 25. Way down to the that same play they ran on the first drive of the exchange wasn't good. That time they did a much better job of three yard gain on the carry. Sets the ball up in there to Kenny Scott. He got three or four yards. Number on that. 12 responsible for the tackle. That's Daniels. It's a gain of about three. Well, closer to four, I guess. Second down and six coming up. Again, it's Jaworski quarterbacking. Bentworth on with guys late. Markle with the carry. Give to Noah. Markle tries it's to make to his way up the left the hand side. We do have some laundry line. on the field, ladies and gentlemen. Not much for Markle there, but the just watch him. He does a nice job of taking a step, find that hole, and going. And there's a flag down right around the 23 yard line. I wonder if this is a substitution issue for Bentworth. You saw some guys running in a little bit late. But let's see what the call is. Yeah, it was uh, freshman Ryland Ness, number 54. is the call against the Bearcats. Wow. Another unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, another 15 yarder. This has got to enrage Bentworth coach J.J. Nabb. This is two in one drive. So the football is spotted at the 25-yard line. They'll move the football down and put it at the 15-yard line. We'll place the ball now line. at the 15-yard line. First and 10 and for the Eagles there from the 15. For the Eagles. 11 minutes, 18 seconds up the play. J.J. Knapp's fourth year at Batworth, third as a head coach. He's also an assistant for a year before that. And had some stints at Steel Valley Peters and South Park before that. Eagles, there's Markle up the middle, no, fighting for the right for hand more. side. Met first by number 12, Daniels. Then by and across the looks number like 35, Harper. Picks up about three yards on the play. On the We're set up second and seven. Ball now resting at the 12-yard line. Yard line. This might be a nice time to move Kenny into the slot. Get a little play action fake over the middle. Second down. Bentworth showing Flying blitz, but play. flags, initial, and it's going to be an offside. Is encroachment against the Bearcats five Bearcats more yards? Bearcats trying to guess the snap count here. It's going to be a free five. Uh, Bearcats take are, it. <laughs> Bearcats are kind of imploding on this drive. You see Vitali. Daniels there, number 12, trying to get his team Ball together. So come on, guys, seven let's, let's get our heads in the game here. Second and two for our Eagles. Seven yard line, second and two. All right. Howdy. No, I'm not going out up. in the backfield. There at the 10-yard right line. Right around the 10-yard line. line. Loss of three on the play. We'll set up third down, third down coming up. and five to go. Number 51 responsible for the tackle for loss. That's Lukatic. Got to get six here. I don't think you're really going to be in field goal. And I don't know how close they need to be for kicker Brian Humanski. I don't think he's attempted a field goal that we've seen, at least in these home games. Uh, behind by five right now, you think you probably better use the, the extra down to try to get yourself a first down, even if this is, we don't get it all here, but need about six. This is oh. thrown over the middle, incomplete. It's incomplete. That pass batted down. Batted down at the line of scrimmage. Looked like a quick hitter maybe to Cole Davidson, but the ball Brings was, up fourth down, five as yards said, to go. Batted ball down. at the 10-yard line for our Eagles. It's fourth and five. This is, at the 10-yard line. This is tough here because you're not sure. You know, you, got, you can get the first down, so do you, do you run maybe like a little button hook over the middle or do you just take a shot at the end zone? That's the question for Ryan Shaquin in the Eagles offense. And it looks like 
looks like they're gonna spread them out Fourth here. Fourth down, five yards to go for the Eagles. Samuel, Rush, Markle, left oh, side. open. End zone, he wanted Pass Samuel. Pass for Samuel, falls incomplete in the end zone. Incomplete on the left side. There will be a turnover on downs. The Bearcats the will take will over the at the 10-yard line. First and 10 Bearcats. Here at the 10 yard line. A lot of frustration from Brandon Samuel on that pass. That is a pass that, as Cole Jaworski gets more experience, he's gonna be a lot more comfortable with, but he maybe rushed that a little bit. I mean, I, I think he was surprised by how open Brandon Samuel was. We got West Green against that just a little early. West Green is leading 7-0. They had him surprised, they certainly did. Here's Bentworth, Aaron snap, but Picked up by Adams, and Fumble he's down to out to around Adams, the 15 yard line. Up so does a broken about play six able to turn something scramble back. Uh, into a gain. Patrine Markle, making number the tackle 26 for on the tackle. The ball comes out to the 16 yard line. Really important for the Eagles to play some solid defense here. Just, you know, gotta gotta put that offensive series out of your mind and gotta hold Bentworth down here in their end of the field. Just for timing purposes, too, the Bentworth team gets the football when we come uh, when we start the third quarter. Second down and about four. Adams, they'll hand the ball off in the backfield. That's Bell with a carry. Number 24 comes up the middle of the field. Humensky there for the tackle. Short yeah, game Bentworth on the play. We'll not third and been one. able to get anything going from the, the running back position. Set that up. He's had some nice runs line. from the quarterback Looks like position. 18 but Bell has done a real nice job of closing down those lanes in a hurry. Humensky with the, the stop two. after just a two yards the official call on the field. Eight minutes, 30 seconds left to play Six in half. 200 pound junior. Third down and a couple coming up from the 18 yard line. Adams gonna try to take it himself. Cross the 20, 25, down around the 30 yard number line. Number Adams calls his own number, makes his way up the left hand side. With the tackle, gains enough yardage for Bearcat first down. It will be on the 30 yard line, first and 10 Bearcats. And it's on the 30 yard line and a first down for Bentworth. That's the one play the Eagles can't seem to stop is just Adams right there on the quarterback sneak right up the middle. Very elusive. It looked early on like they had Kenny Rush almost spying him. I, I don't know if they're still doing that, but that might be something you think about. At the 30. This one is number throws incomplete. He wanted Lukatic on that's the right Adams side, and it's going to be second and ten. Second and ten. Guessing Ben Lukatic, brother of Ethan Lukatic, potentially, maybe a cousin. Could be. Uh, ben, uh, ben is a sophomore. Ethan is a senior. This one way over. Number thrown. 10 Adams rolls to the right, looking for number 12. And Daniels. looking for Daniels. Daniels was Falls open on that there. pass. Will be third Eagles and caught a break on an overthrow. Still at the 30-yard line on the Bearcats side. Daniels is 6'3". He needed to be 7'3 for that one. <laughs> That's the pass. You come back to the huddle. You're like, what are you doing? You're going to be killed out there. <laughs> That's, uh, that's probably a steak dinner uh, if he catches it. <laughs> Third and 10. And Flag on the play. Yeah. False start. Looks like paternal. False start to get against a, the Bearcats uh, is the initial call. And start the official to the call is false start. Here, and it's Five yard up. penalty backs them up to the 25 yard line. We'll be third down, Five yard 15 penalty, to go. So it's gonna back them up. Uh, it's gonna be third and long now. Third and 15. Wonder if maybe Adams changed the snap count and Paternal didn't hear. It's, I mean, he definitely, it's definitely a miscommunication there. Third and 15, here's Adams. Ah! Oh. He's going to throw Daniels off Number the fingertips again. For 12. Boiler falls incomplete. there. Marco so now there. 15 to go. Ball resting at the 25 yard line. Bearcats set the punt. Eagles getting a little help here from the 
Bentworth receivers. Daniels open again. Ball's a little behind him, but that's probably number a catch. Number 18, that McMurray back deep Coach Nav would like to see him pull down. The return is number two, Samuel. So, football spotted here at the 25-yard line. You've got Taylor in to kick this one. It's a high snap. Punt is good. Nice kick. It's at the 43, rolls dead around the 34-yard line. Taylor's punt down by number 82. Burke nice kick from Abella, Taylor to kind of flip the field here. It will be first and 10 for our Eagles and it's from gonna their be own 34. The Eagles Seven football. minutes, 26 seconds left to play in the half. 33-yard line. So you're Ryan Cicchini. Uh, what's, the, what's the spot here? What are we starting off with? Well, Run I, uh, I say, let's throw the ball. I mean, you've had Sam wide open on a number of occasions. I mean, you, your offensive line seems to be able to do a pretty good job of protecting Jaworski. I, I say you take a shot here. Avella, first and 10, 35-yard line, 34-yard line. Jaworski <coughs> with the football. They'll take the snap. They'll pitch to Markle, left side, far side. 35. Now Markle is tries to make his way down. outside the left side. Cuts it back in. Makes about a yard. Call it two on the spun play. Sets up second and eight. Ethan Lukatic. Ball now resting at the 35 yard line. Give him a couple of yard gain. Seven there. minutes in the first half. That play looked like it had potential, but Markle just could, couldn't quite get out of the grasp of Lukatic. He's such a hard runner. I mean, when, when he gets when he gets the ball. Uh, does Mar does uh, Markle? He's he's hitting these holes pretty hard and falling forward. Yeah, he's close. He's close to breaking one. Rush now in his quarterback, and they're going to throw to Markle. It's caught at the 35. There we Jukes go. a man. Ah. And nice down to, Noah Markle to here around on the, right the 40 side. yard line. Skips a couple tackles. Lost Finally brought there. down by number 44. A nice little play to That's me. Logan. A four on yard tackle. Like We'll set up third Vincent down. Logan. Four Cameron to go. McGraw Ball resting at the 40 yard line. Tackle two for Bentworth. Third down and four. 40 yard line is the spot where the football lies. Big call here for the Eagles offense. Uh, Davidson bringing the play in. Jaworski back in as Third down, four to go, ball racing at the 40. Again, uh, I formation, Rush and Markle. But they're gonna throw it to uh. Davidson off his fingertips. Well, he had all kind Davidson of real estate there to go. He just could not pass. pull that pass in. Incomplete. And it's Sets fourth, up fourth down, down and five four yards to go. Here. I'm sorry, four down, four yards to go. Ball resting at the 40. I'm saying it, you know, 0 oh and 6 or whatever we are, uh, you're probably going to go for it here. It's, what do you got to lose? I mean, that was a well designed play, quick slant. We got a timeout here, but fortunately, Davidson couldn't haul Time it in. Out. Oh, well. Eagles will take their first timeout. We will step aside as well. Five minutes, 33 seconds left. Second quarter, big fourth down coming up for the Eagles. After the Avella timeout, it is fourth down, four Eagles. yards to go. Ball resting Eagles at the Avella. Eagles spend their 40. second or their first timeout. They have two remaining here. Five thirty-three left, second quarter. It is a big fourth down and four. 
Eagles need the 44 yard line. Kenny Rush in the shotgun standing at his own 35. High snap, plenty of time. He's gonna air it out oh, over the trouble. middle. Intercepted at the 40 yard line. Maybe a clip and on the return. Back inside Rush the 30 to the 28 yard line. That interception Nine is Caleb Paternal. At the 45 yard line on the Avella side. Tackle made by Sherman. 5'10 senior. They're going to bring this one back a little bit on probably a block in the back. And a penalty flag all over on the other side of the field. Officials are caucusing for the moment. For the moment, the football is spotted at the 28-yard line. That is likely to change. And then let's see what... Block in the so back is a call a block against in the, the back, Bearcats. And we get that call from our referee tonight, and our head it official, Terry Byrne. will be first Byrne. down after the penalty is assessed. Yeah, it was, it was a little bit of a strange call there for the Eagles. I, yeah, I, I mean, you get used to one quarterback who's played most of the game. Uh, you know, Kenny's got a strong arm, but it was, you know, it was kind of just, just whipped that up there. And, I mean, it was a low percentage pass. And, I mean, almost like a punt with the penalty, so it doesn't kill you, but it was definitely a, <clears throat> you know, maybe a, maybe a play I might not have called there. You know, that'll back the, that'll back the Eagles all the way, or back the, uh, Bearcats, rather. And after the penalty is All assessed, the, the Bearcats the will take over. Line of Avella. First and 10 from their own 40-yard line. And 10. Five minutes, 18 seconds left to play in the first half. Bearcats, first and 10. And a big stand from the Avella defense. You got Daniels in motion here. Adams up the middle, 45, ahead. 50, 45, 40, inside the 40-yard line. Number, tackle made by Noah Markle. Brought down by Markle. At the Avella 37-yard line. And First and Patrine 10 right was there the as well. On the Avella side. Five minutes, 10 seconds left. you got to think that if Adams was the running back, <laughs> he, I mean, he's got some running skills. He just gives the Eagles defense a lot of problems. 37-yard line is where the plot thickens here. First and 10. Give into the backfield. Number 21 to tries to make his way up the left side. No room there. Not much of anything. Tackle by Hayden Gatewood. Gang Gary Hoare and 69. Harrison Fisher. the 37-yard line. And Drew Petrasek. Five, nine, Loss of about a yard on the play. We'll set up second now in 11. Second and 10. Crowd getting into it here on a homecoming Friday night. Four minutes and 15 seconds and running. Also running is Daniels to the far side. Adams with the call, low snap, throws over the middle. This one's tipped, and oh. it's almost. <laughs> Adams is passed. Almost. Was intended for number eight. Merkel Lucas almost tipped, had a looky what I found moment Ball's here. Ball's incomplete. We'll set up as soon as that ball, ball, as soon as that ball goes up in the, the air, you get to see the, or feel the Bentworth crowd just holding their breath. That would have been big. Falls to the ground, incomplete. Third and 11 here coming up for Bentworth. Adams with Petrasek, the running back. Going to glance over now to the sideline. He's got the call from J.J. Nab, the head coach. He's going to take it himself. Up the middle to 30. Number inside 10, the 25-yard line. The brought down by Samuel. made by number two. Samuel, not before he gains enough yardage for the Bearcats. It's going to be another down. first down. As first and 10 Bearcats. Ball now at the Avella. That football inside the 25. Eagles cannot find an answer for Seth Adams up the middle. I mean, I, 
I mean, at this point, I'm, you know, like I said, Kenny was looking like he was spying before, but maybe, uh, maybe somebody a little quicker. Looks like Noah Markle coming down in the, in the safety here. Give this to Paterno on the right side. And Rush number throws 11, him down Pino after being chased by Huminski. Brought back in by number 54. Nice tackle, tackle by KJ Rush. By number five, Rush. Picks up about four yards on the play. Will set up second and six. going to be second six. down and six. Football at the 20-yard line. Adams, Petrasek, Fisher. Number 21 tries to make it up the middle. Going there very no far, and with Harrison Fisher that's Fisher time. sticking out that right arm and Short loss throwing him play. to the we'll ground. Third down now. Heck of a tackle by Fisher. Yeah, he <laughs> Petrasek wasn't going anywhere once Fisher got his paws on him. Eagles still in good position here to keep Bentworth out of the end zone. That's at this point, that's, I think, what we're definitely wanting or hoping to see before the half. Third down and six. Adams throws to his backfield receiver, Paternal, but going nowhere near the 20-yard line. Number 11 on the reception. Maybe a gain of, of, of about a yard. Side. Met there by number... Five, a rush. Nice, nice job by the Eagles defense. Swarming Humansky. tackle. Short gain on the play. Yeah, rush and Humansky in there making that six tackle. Six yards to go. And Ball fourth down at and six. 21 yard line. Got to watch Adams here. From that Eagles defense, I'm keying on him. I, I can almost guarantee this might be a run up the middle. Empty backfield here. They spread him out to the right side. Adams out. is going to roll to the right side. And... He is oh, going to be tackle. thrown down in the Number backfield. The right hand side. Garrett Hoare. 55, Garrett Hoare, the senior. On the field. Well, that was a really nice play by Garrett Hoare. But we've got a penalty flag down. Let's see what this is. Yeah, it's maybe holding. Maybe illegal use of hands. Hard to tell where the flag is. Looks like it's going to be on Bentworth because they're talking to a Bella's coach, Ryan Cicchini. Hold is the call is against the Bearcats. Call. Bella chooses to decline. It. Ladies and gentlemen, it uh, will be a turnover on down. And the, sack. Eagles. and the Eagles will be in their two-minute offense here. Again, a minute 22 seconds, again, a minute 22 seconds half. before halftime. Half 8 to 13. That ball will be resting Big at the 21-yard line. Big time play by Garrett Hoare. Eagles have Eagles. two timeouts to stop the clock, and again, as we talked earlier, you've got Bentworth receiving the football after halftime. Jaworski, Jaworski rather, in as quarterback. I don't, uh... I looked over, didn't think I saw anybody covering Brandon Samuel, but, or I'm sorry, that, that Cole Davidson on the far side of the field, but I was incorrect, there is a defensive back there. Shotgun, they're going to throw, caught to Samuel, the 15, breaks the tackle to the 20, scoots ahead of the 26, 20, 70 yard line, Cole hit, Jaroski's driven bounce out of bounds, no penalty right flag, hand side, works his way out of tackle. Bounds. Did he get number out of bounds there? He did, the clock. they're going to call the Logan, clock, number winding 11. it, so let's see, Peter they're now responsible stop for clock. pushing him out there, gain of eight on the play. We'll set up timeout. second and two now. Timeout of Vela. One minute Eagles left to play here in the first half. Here. And they'll have one left, minute and two seconds. Let's take this time to thank all of our uh, sponsors this season for uh, for all of your support for Avella Athletics Range Resources, uh, Paris Contracting, the Bait and Tackle Shop, Wagner Tire 22 Concrete. Tack Zach Law, Welding and Equipment Repair, Details Photography, The Bullpen Rustic Inn, Star Rentals, Stefkovich Funeral Home, and Robert Vetterall Washington Financial Wealth 
management. Thank you all for your support of Avella Athletics and Avella football here this season. 62 ticks left. Official change Back to the, the air. Is that where we're four going here? To 106. I think so. I, yeah, they did have that, that one nice looking draw play to no more, but it didn't get Eagles. much, but it looked like he was close to breaking it. So that is one Second possibility, down, but I have a feeling they're just going to air this out. 28 yard line. The key is you don't want a turnover, but you know, Cole, Cole's a pretty uh, accurate passer, so let's see what he can do here. Jaworski is going to run it up the middle himself to across to the 35 to the 36 yard line. Number, so that'll stop the chains line. until they move him here at the 36 the yard line. That's an Avella Eagles. First down! Spot the ball and start the clock. The clock is winding. Under a minute to play, opening quarter. Or opening half, rather. Jaworski running. Right side, far side, nice throws. Pass. It is caught to number 26, Noah Markle. And that is going to be enough Markle for a first down. They'll down spot the ball at the 48 yard line. line. So right around midfield, 45 play, seconds to go. First down! A difficult pass moving to the left. Eagles lining it up. They'll start the clock running. Under 40 now to play. Shotgun. Blitz coming. Jaworski escapes. He wants to go downfield as Samuel, and it's incomplete. Cole's pass intended for number two. Samuel falls incomplete. Vincent Logan was defending. 29 seconds the play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball resting at the Avella 48-yard line. 48-yard line here of Avella. That's a touchdown saving tip by Vincent Logan because Samuel was, had nobody behind him there if he gets a hold of that ball, but Cole wasn't quite able to lay it in there. Nice-looking pass, too, from Jaroski while on the move. Yeah, he does a really, a nice defender. Job. really nice job getting out of that pressure. Second and ten. Blitz picked up. This one thrown. It is caught to Samuel at the 30-yard line. Pass complete to Samuel. What a catch. Number eight responsible and again, for the tackle the there. Clock That's stops with 22 seconds Big until they can play. move we'll the chains. The Eagles. First down. You have to wonder here if you're going to play a spike and ball if you need to to kill the clock. They'll wind the clock. To play. First and ten for the Eagles. One more play, then you start spiking the ball. Throws again to Samuel, making the catch. Cole Jaroski's pass complete to Brandon Samuel, makes his way out of bounds to stop the clock there. Gain of about Stops seven the on the play. We'll set up seconds. a second and three. It's going to be second down and three out around the 23-yard line. Got to start taking some shots here. Twenty-three-yard line. You got to believe that you've got Samuel who's trotting back to the. 11 Huddle seconds here. left to play 11 in the half. Ticks the Avala Eagles. Left. One timeout Second and for three the to go. Ball resting on the 23, 23 yard line. yards away. From taking a lead into the half. Here's Jaworski over the Fall. middle. It's intercepted. Yeah, that could be trouble. Oh, that's a, there's a penalty there. Intercepted. What well, else a miss? Missed it up. There it is. There's the flag. The turtle is got it, and it's he's going to house it. And for now, it's a touchdown, but there's on some laundry the on the field. However, ladies and gentlemen, All the way back in the 22-yard line. And the worst, he just got a horse collar tackle. So at minimum, there's going to be one more play here before we end the half, I believe. Will not end on a penalty. And let's see, let's see if this is a clip, a horse collar tackle, regardless. Awaiting the official call on Paternal the penalty. Paternal houses it here. Yeah, it's unfortunate for Bentworth. I don't know that that needed to happen. I, I'm obviously really excited on the interception, but the Paternal had all type of grass to run through, and you know, that, that block really was unfortunate for Bentworth because it probably cost him the touchdown. 
So Terry Byrne huddling up with the officials now, kind of sorting this one out. And again, the last thing you want to do is make the wrong call here. Right now it's a 13 to eight lead for Bentworth. JJ Nab out and the official call is holding gonna be a hold against the Bearcats. And that is going to negate the touchdown, to which I think for Vela fans the is exactly trail, eight to 13. what you want to see here. It negates the touchdown. One play, untimed down, baby. And J.J. Nab is giving the Terry Byrne there is, is one giving Terry Byrne an earful as he's Here taking team pass. off off the field, but there is we got one play. We can't end this thing on a penalty here. I'm not really sure what he's upset about. I mean, that was a clear, clear hold or horse call or whatever you want to call it. A thing for us to watch here in the second half as. Uh, We've seen a number of personal foul penalties. So football is spotted at the 25 yard line. One are done here. From the four yard time. Untimed down to finish the half. backfield. He's going to take it. He's going to roll left side. He's got paternal. And he is hit and dropped That's at the 38-yard line. By Cole Davidson, number 54. Humensky takes us to the end of the half. Humensky, Davidson, uh, Samuel rather, on the tackle. And that will end the first half. After one, 13 to eight, we got a ball game at Avella, halftime. And we'll be back for the second half of festivities right after this. Range Resources has proudly focused on delivering energy solutions for more than 40 years. Our core values, performance, innovation, integrity, and transparency. Guide us in the work we do every day as a natural gas industry leader. These values reflect how we operate as a company and are deeply rooted in our commitment to improving the communities where we work. These leading efforts have included pioneering the Marcellus Shale, now among the world's largest natural gas fields, becoming the first company to voluntarily disclose hydraulic fracturing fluids and developing large-scale water recycling for shale development. Our commitment to fostering thriving communities begins within the walls of our company, starting with the safety and well-being of our employees and extending to the communities where we live, work, and support. Natural gas is powering our lives, providing a cleaner future, and creating exciting opportunities for careers in communities all around the world. We're proud of our accomplishments to date, but we recognize the importance of continuing to raise the bar at every opportunity for our employees and the communities where we work every day. led by field conductor Amelia Scott. The band's 2021 show, Gold Sounds, includes House of Gold, Heart of Gold, Fields of Gold, Golden Slumbers, Gold Sounds, and Gold on the Ceiling. Gentlemen, the Bentworth Bearcat Marching Band.
please welcome back the members of Abella's 2021 Homecoming Court. Miss Allie Brown Lee, escorted by Mr. Alton Chase. Miss Caitlin Frank, escorted by Mr. Garrett Hoare. <laughs> Miss Morgan Ondrick, escorted by Mr. Braden Rankin. Miss Sarah Pancari, escorted by Mr. Josh Rush. Miss Emily Rice. Escorted by Mr. Brandon Samuel. At this time, please welcome back our returning homecoming king from last year, Mr. Chris Peterson. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the crowning of the 2021 homecoming king and queen. Drum roll, please. This year's homecoming king is Mr. Braden Franken. Finally, your 2021 homecoming queen is Miss Emily Rice.
Congratulations to this year's court and the new king and queen. Good luck to our Vela Eagle football team in the second half, and happy homecoming, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, get those 50-50 ticket time. It's 50-50 ticket time. Go ahead and get them out. We're going to go ahead and announce our winners. One more time, congratulations to Emily and Braden and the entire homecoming court. Mr. Rankin, I do believe it was the cool truck that got you homecoming king. Contracting Company Incorporated has had a wealth of success that began in 1928 in areas ranging from road construction to coal mining to underground utilities, industrial services, and heavy construction. And in today's ever-expanding energy services industry, the company provides site development, foundations, buildings, undergrounds, process piping, installation, and construction management. The future is bright for the company under the guidance of Alex E. Paris, CEO, and Timothy A. Paris, Vice President of Operations. One constant during the operation of the Alex E. Paris Contracting Corporation has been the company's commitment to hiring a professional, dedicated workforce. With today's continually evolving construction and energy climate, the company is dedicated to providing competitive wages and benefits and on enhancing employee skills through continual training and professional development. And whether working locally, regionally, or nationally, skilled workers are needed in a variety of areas. Join us and help to continue the rich tradition associated with Alex E. Paris Contracting Incorporated. Range Resources has proudly focused on delivering energy solutions for more than 40 years. Our core values, performance, innovation, integrity, and transparency guide us in the work we do every day as a natural gas industry leader. These values reflect how we operate as a company and are deeply rooted in our commitment to improving the communities where we work. These leading efforts have included pioneering the Marcellus Shale, now among the world's largest natural gas fields, becoming the first company to voluntarily disclose hydraulic fracturing fluids and developing large-scale water recycling for shale development. Our commitment to fostering thriving communities begins within the walls of our company, starting with the safety and well-being of our employees and extending to the communities where we live, work, and support. Natural gas is powering our lives, providing a cleaner future, and creating exciting opportunities for careers in communities all around the world. We're proud of our accomplishments to date, but we recognize the importance of continuing to raise the bar at every opportunity for our employees and the communities where we work every day. Ladies and gentlemen, all of the prizes have been claimed. Thank you so much.
Friday Night Lights presented by Aurora Television Network, powered by the Hickory Telephone Company. Halftime and homecoming festivities in Avella, and a big congratulations that goes out to uh, homecoming king tonight, Braden Rankin, who is on uh, this uh, this football team, and homecoming queen, Emily Rice, seniors, and uh, congratulations on a homecoming uh, here at Avella. It's been a uh, great festivities here at halftime. We saw the Bentworth Band. We'll see the Avella Band at the end of this game on their performances. Uh, first half, though, uh, what would you think? I mean, 13-8, to eight, we got a ball game here. Yeah, what an exciting first half. Really uh, enjoyed seeing Avella being able to get the passing game going a little bit. We haven't seen them have really long, sustained drives very often this season. So I think Ryan Chikini is pretty excited because he's pulling out some plays that maybe he's been waiting all year to use. So that was encouraging. Uh, I'd like to see the defense uh, hold Bentworth there at the end of the first half. Uh, did a nice job of keeping them in the game. And we're definitely in great position here coming into the second half. So an equalizer here a, a bit maybe in this second half that we've had some light rain starting to fall in the area. So maybe a bit of a slippery track here as we start uh, quarter number three. Uh, 13 to 8. Uh, it'll be Bentworth football when we get underway here in the next few seconds. Uh, but you got to believe Ryan Cicchini in at halftime, uh, pulling out all the stops in that halftime speech to get these kids fired up for uh, for a second half of play. Absolutely. And this is Avella's chance to get their first victory of the season on homecoming. Uh, you know the guys are going to be fired up. But, you know, for Ryan Cicchini, I think what he wants to tell them is, hey, you know, we, we have uh, not been in many games here, so it, the mental aspect of the game is going to be important in the second half. Let's not make uh, dumb penalties. You know, let's let's not you know get it get uh, you know doing things that, that we get outside of ourselves. Let's Set just play ball. Number fifty-four, and, and Brian let's let, uh, let the game go where that it heap is number Uminski eleven. Is going to tee this one up for the Eagles. Balls. Here we start our third quarter. Paternal is back deep. Going to do an onside kick there. And this one's not going to go ten yards. So. Uh, it will be touched here by Samuel, but it's going to be Bentworth football at the 47, 46 yard line. So we've seen a couple of, we've kick. seen a couple of, uh, ball down before it went 10 yards. Should be the kicks ball. here in this game from the Avella 47 so yard line. The First Eagles and now will have. Have this defense tighten up here at the 40 70 yard line is where the football will be spotted. First down, Adams, and this one blown dead. Flag on the this play. This is going to be offsides on Avella. A five yard penalty, so it's going to be first and five here. Encroachment is the call. Five-yard penalty against the Eagles. It will be first and five for the Bearcats. Brian Chikini now, being super aggressive coming out of halftime with that onside kick. Just didn't quite get the 10 yards. It wasn't a bad-looking onside kick, but unfortunately didn't get those 10 yards. So football at the 43. Adams, this is thrown. This is tipped to the line pass. of scrimmage. Adams is fast. Is tipped. And out of bounds. tipped Uminsky by number 54, Brian Eminski. It Remains looks like maybe Jam to Finger. Let's see if he's Ball okay. At the Avella, 44 now. Bentworth looks offense. Looks like he's okay, but flexing that hand there. Absolutely. Bentworth offense is definitely quick strike. And and not a lot of long developing plays. Flag on the play. Yansky offsides here. The call against the Eagles. Five yard this penalty. This is going to be very close for a first down. No. It's going to be, let's see if this is, we would have thought this was first down, but the where the, the, the sticks are, and it is. It is a first down at the, just inside. Two consecutive five-yard yard penalties line. should have enough yardage for a first down for the Bearcats. Ball resting at the 39-yard line on the Bella side. 
with a five point lead as we start quarter number three. Adams with a football, not going any further than Number 10, Harrison Adams Fisher. On the keeper. Met in the backfield by Garrett Hoare and Harrison Fisher for a one yard These guys are ready for that quarterback sneak that Second time. Second 11. Nice job getting a hold of Adams, not let him go anywhere. Ball Garrett Hoare too with the, line. helping with the tackle as the rain starts to fall a little bit harder. Here at Avella. Second down and 11. Ball right around the 40 yard line. Adams calls for the football. Scrambles near side, being chased. Dumps it off to number 12. That's Vitaly Daniels and a penalty flag down around the 25 yard line. Right where he was taken out. That's a face mask or what, what that penalty is gonna be. Yeah, it was hard to tell. That was an old uh, playground play there. Just kind of run out and throw the block. And when you're not blocking anymore, you go out for the pass. Looks like your head referee is going across the field to Ryan Giacchini. So this one is going to be on Bentworth. It's going to be a block in the back. Official call on the field is a block in the back, back against the Bearcats. That's a tough break for Bentworth. That was a nice play. 40-yard line is uh, inside the 40, rather. The 36-yard line is where we'll spot After it. After the penalty is assessed, it will be second down, seven to go. Ball rested at the 36-yard line. Second and seven coming up. Adams quarter. staring in. Bentworth using clipboards and signs to communicate plays. Some confusion here among the referees. They have stopped the. They have stopped play. Eleven oh six left. They call this one. It's first down here for. I think we just had an issue on down, so they're going to call it first down and seven. Adams is going to throw. That's caught to 33. That's complete to number That's 33. Spencer. Picks up enough yardage for Bearcat first down on the reception. That is enough for a first down. Spencer. That was a nice looking ball from Adams. Adams to Spencer collects a first down for the Bearcats. Ball now resting at the Avella 22 yard line. Sam first and Oil are over there making a stop. First down and 10. Around the 22 yard line. Adams, two-step drop, gets rid of it incomplete. Adams pass intended for number 33. He Once wanted again, to Spencer try to find Thatcher Spencer, a freshman, ball still at the over on the near line. side. On the Avella side. Incomplete, and it's second down and 10. In the third quarter. Yeah, you can see Bentworth definitely has a strategy of throwing, throwing, and throwing some more here coming out in the second half. To Lucas Burt listed, who is 82 in the backfield, as a wideout as well. But they're going to throw this one over to the 15 yard line. And it Adam is caught by Caleb Paternal. Number 11, Peter now. Tackle made there by number 24, Austin Euler. Euler and Sam making the, the tackles. Third for down, five to go. Ball now at the, Eagles. the 17 yard line. It's third and five coming up. Another big series for the Eagles needing to hold the Bearcats out of the end zone. Third and five inside the uh, it's 16 rather. Rolling incomplete. Garrett Hoare running Adams down. Over Hoare the left ran side. Adams Forces down. He wanted to try to find Lukadich over on the far Fourth side. Down. Can't connect. Here, nice defense like for Avella and third quarter. Garrett Hoare Five blowing that go, play up. Garrett Hoare almost got himself a coverage sack. Calling his name a lot tonight. 
Fourth down and five of the 16. Adams glancing over. He's gonna throw, they're gonna send him. It's caught in the backfield to 22. Number 10 to 82 is complete. It's gonna be close. And it's Tackle gonna be made very by close. There at the 10 yard line, picked up enough yardage for Bearcat first down. There they spotted it is a first down. Ball resting just on this side of the 10 yard line. It will be first and goal for the Bearcats. down and goal at the 10 yard line. Adams rolling, Trouble. cutting back into the end zone. Touchdown, Bentworth. He set up going far side and then cut back left side and went against the grain and in there for a 10 yard scamper. Yeah, Seth Adams has been the difference in this game. He is he is tough to stop. He, I mean, he does such a nice job of setting up those runs, too. It's not like he just takes one step and goes. I mean, like you said, he was looking like he was going to the outside, cut that back in, Number really 15, caught the Taylor defense flat-footed for, for Bella. 5'8", 160 senior, high snap. And they're going to try to throw this to Paterno, and he is going to be, did he get it? Let's see what the call, they oh, called him in there. He got it. Fighting and fighting and fighting for it. Avella unable to bring him down. And the two point conversion is good. It looked like, I thought that was 26, Patrick Oreski. Ladies and gentlemen, our Eagles are trailing eight to 21. I thought that was who scored that two point conversion. He might have, he might have been right. It looked like the Eagles had him dead to rights and he just fought for those extra couple yards. No, nine minutes, 17 seconds left, third quarter. Eagles trailing 21 to eight. And they'll receive this kickoff and an important kickoff here for the Eagles, an important possession to try to get things moving. Yeah, this is a huge possession for the Eagles. This is in past games where things start to, the wheels start to come right, off. The Eagles, number 26, Eagles have been able to move the ball. We need a nice long drive here to keep that Bentworth offense off, off the field. 16, try to Taylor punch into the end zone. For the Bearcats. Taylor to kick this one, and it is deep. Samuel has to go back for it and picks it up. Across the 10 to the 15 to the 20 and driven out Brandon of bounds. Brandon Samuel from the five yard line makes his way down to the Avella 20, 15 yard return. Number 10 and 26 responsible for the tackle, Adams and Oreski. Nine minutes, 10 seconds on the field. left third quarter. I think, Jesse, as you were saying, surviving a third quarter has been a bit of a challenge for the Eagles this year, but uh, still very much in this one. Absolutely. I mean, it was a, not the start they wanted in the second half, but it is only one touchdown. So the Eagles have shown the ability to move the ball, particularly at the end of the second half, just ran out of time. Number 10, so Adam. Keep that momentum play, going. And, Keep right in this game. Jaroski. Eagles is first and in there. From Not the quarterback, 20. though. You've got Rush with a sidecar of Merkel here. Merkel. Got some room. He's got some room to the left side, across the 30-yard line. Now a Markle off the right-hand side, tackle made by number 82, Burt. Giving 13 yards Locked on the play, ladies and gentlemen. That's enough for the Lucas Valley Burt. Eagles. First down! But 
Got the football and exploded in the backfield. Yeah, just really encouraging to see Noah Markle with these 10 plus yard runs. We didn't see any of that the first few home games. And like I mentioned, past game, he just gives the Eagles the offense Ball's a whole the 34 other dimension. Yard line, first and 10 Eagles. Again, looks like same formation. Rush will take it this time across the 35 and uh, around the 40 yard Markle. line. Leading the way, number 82, once again, Burt on the tackle. A quiet pickup pick of seven, seven yards, yards on the carry. for we'll be second down, three to go. K.J. Rush, the senior. Yeah, nice yard rush run. by K.J. Interesting with the Eagles, uh, since Triton Shirley's come back, he's moved to right guard. He Remember, he was out uh, a couple games ago. There was a little bit of a scuffle down at Jefferson Morgan, and uh, he's now the right guard, and Braden Rankin has held on to that center position for the last few games. Second and three. Rush high snap. He handles it, but it's going to be a loss in the backfield of Rush. Having a problem with the yards. snap, brings it back down. Yeah, maybe Loses call it about three. three on the play. We'll put up a third and seven. Third and six, we'll call maybe it. Braden, remember the moment oh, no, he was right. named homecoming yeah, king. Had a little shot of adrenaline there, maybe on that snap. <laughs> Good to be king, huh? That's it. Third and six. Thirty-three yard line. This is thrown out and is caught. Well, Sam making the catch two, here on the near seven. side, enough for a first, first down. Out of at the Good looking play there. Sam will just run at a quick line. stop. We'll Picks up enough yards. He ran three or four yards. Stop. Kenny right on the button yeah. there. To hit him on the outside. And, and Brandon breaks the tackle. Gets about an extra three or four yards. It feels like this team is loose tonight. If I could have Justin it's, Ross. Uh, That's Justin uh, Ross. Please nothing to worry Brittany about here gymnasium. going out and just having fun. Justin Ross. Uh, please. In a rainy Brittany Friday evening. Gymnasium. But they look like they're having a lot of fun out there. Absolutely. 49 yard line. Rush going to take it up the middle. Into the 45, keeps Rush, the pile the moving near the 40. Again, a quiet 10-yard gain for Rush here, right around the 40-yard line. The offense is really looking good here. Harper and Peternell together on the tackle. Ball resting at the Bearcats, 41-yard line. Isabella moves the ball. 6.40 left to play in the third quarter. Again, Rush. In the shotgun, sidecar Markle. Markle with it. Gets it at the 40, pushes to around the 35 yard line. And that's where the Bearcats will swallow up. Number 55, McGaw in 10. Yeah, I mean, with this rain and at this point, the way they're running the ball, just keep running it until they can stop it. On the play. We'll set up second and five. Ball got it. Looks like they've had a couple different I'm sorry. types of running plays here to kind of keep that Bearcat defense on, the Bearcat side. on edge and they're doing a nice job moving the ball down the field. Eli Maidman bringing the play call in. A freshman, Rush. He's going to take it again. Rush off the tackle middle. left side. Picks up about three on the play. Three or four. Up third down now, two to go. Daniels and McCall two. on the tackle. Ball resting at the 32-yard nice line. by Noah Markle leading him into the hole. Here are the Bentworth fans imploring their defense to make a play. Nate Rankin bringing the play in this time for the Eagles. Rush, low snap, picks it up. He's got a first down. Picking the snap up off the ground. Bumbles Over to the 26 yard, yard line. That'll move the six. First down! Kenny's okay, starting to show some number bus like qualities here, moving this ball down the field. First and 10, under 5.15 to play here. 25 yard line, oh, high snap. Man. And they're gonna follow this one back at the 41 yard line. Markle. Markle recovers it and the Bearcats Loss were on his Auburn. heels. We'll set up second and forever for the Eagles. Ball resting at the 42 yard line. Yeah, I mean, the Eagles, the only thing that's hurting them is themselves at this point. That's two bad snaps from Braden Rankin. That's a tough one. they got to 
Got to stick to it, though. We got to get those yards back. And I mean, I'm sure the rain has a lot to do with those snaps. Ball's probably wet. This is a challenge. I don't think the Eagles have, have played Eagles. much Ball rain this year. Now at the Bearcats, 42 yard line. Sloppy track, indeed. 42 yard line. Second and long, another high snap. Rush with it and hit hard at the 48-yard line. Ball marked down at the yeah, Avella 48-yard line. line. 49 is the mark on the ball. So we're looking at uh, third and a bus ticket to v West Virginia here. Yeah, this is tough. I mean, this is four down territory, I think. Try to get 10, 12 of those yards back here. Another high snap and fielded. Rush going to put it up. Samuel oh. incomplete. Rush's pass intended for number two. Samuel falls incomplete. Lukinich with we'll the defense for Bentworth. And it's fourth down. Samuel did a nice job of getting inside of the defensive back, just couldn't quite haul that in. Eagles are going to punt here. And Eagles bring out the punt team. Uh, Rush will drop back to do the kicking. Can you turn the camera back? Back to the receiver, Rush's punt, it's number 11. Ball Peter now. spotted at the 49 yard line. Rush with a kick. It nice is a time. high kick. Oh, it's the it's loose. At the 30, loose. It's loose, and the Eagles have it. It's Markle. Oh, that was a huge break. Markle, perhaps with a recovery. Yeah, that's, that's Eagles' ball there. going to gather and they're going to make an official call here but it looked to me uh, on the ball. Jesse Saunders that this ball bounced around hit off a, an ankle of someone and then the Eagles recover yeah, you just you wonder what is the time frame I mean, Marco clearly down with that ball I mean he did not end up with the ball but he was down for a good second or two with the ball What's the time frame they're going to look at to see whether he actually fully had possession? 3.26 left third quarter. Bearcats have scored a touchdown here in this third quarter. Terry Byrne and the officiating core huddling up. Oh. And it's going to be Bentworth football. Well, that's, that's tough. The official ruling on the field is that we the had, Bearcats uh, recovered the ball. Los Angeles office or First New York office to send uh, this back line. to, my guess is you, you may have a different result, but for now, they're doing the best they can on the field here. It's First and 10 at the 27-yard line for Bentworth. Handoff in the backfield. Number 24 on that's the carry. Bell with a carry. And that's Jiminski with a stop. Fisher. 24 is Xavier and Bell. With Tries to make his way well. up the left hand side. No room there. No gain on the play. Oh, Second down and 10 him. to go. Get the ball right back. Obviously, can move the ball. Second down and 10. Under three minutes to play, third quarter. Adams, who's been so oh. dangerous. Going to move him back five. False start is the official ruling. Five-yard penalty, second down. A lot of flags in this game, uh, Jesse, at least more than we've grown accustomed to seeing. Yeah, it's definitely been sloppy. I, I, you know, I mean, we've had some, uh, you know, some false starts, some holding Ball penalties, at the you know, a couple uh, unsportsmanlike conducts. It's, it's definitely been a whole range of penalties tonight. Second and 15, Adams is going to throw right side. He's 
Got 12 to tally Daniels to the 32-yard line. Pick up of about nine on the play. We'll set up third down, six to go. Petrine Oiler and Euler on the tackle. Running him outside. Petrine credited for the assist. Several catches for Vitaly Daniels in the flat. He is a weapon coming out of the backfield. Third down, six to go. Third and six here. Oh, Low snap. Adams is sacked by oh, Jaroski. He was worried Jaroski about picking up the football, and Jaroski puts him to the turf. Timeout official. No on hesitation the field. by Cole Jaroski. Great timeout. job just running right through the quarterback. But there is an injury. He twisted his ankle on the way down. It's hard. It looks like he's in some pain. They're going to look at, looks like that ankle and leg right now. Trainer's over, but a heck of a tackle back at the 27-yard line. He's up. And he's up Jaroski and walking up gingerly. On the play, makes his way off. off after making the tackle for loss. It will be fourth down. Fourth ball deep in the Bearcats down territory. Back there about the 27-yard line. Football at the 27-yard line. Oh, that's a nice stop for the Avella defense. Get the ball right back. Let's go right back at him. McMurray to punt it away, and 18, Brandon Samuel is back deep. Rain McMurray. subsiding here Samuel at Avella. A, just a light mist now. McMurray, good kick. It's down at the 46-yard line and down at the 43-yard line. Ball down at the Avella 43-yard line, but number 44, Jacob Lance. Good field position. On a 25-yard punt. By mistake, number 82, Lucas Burt on the down with the and football. The Eagles with the football first. here. Two minutes, 21 seconds. 10 yards to go. Left. Resting on their 43-yard line. I wonder how much work the Eagles have done just under center. Obviously with this wet ball and some bad snaps, you know, it's something you got to think about. Just don't know how much experience each of our quarterbacks has just you know taking snap right right from under center. First down and ten. Rush keeps it. Up the middle of the Rush across midfield, the very middle. close Makes to the sticks here at the 40 the 70 yard line. I think they're going to call it about a nine yard line. gain. And Rush marked just short of a slow first down. to get up. Offensive line really just doing a nice job tonight, opening holes for Kenny Rush. He, I mean, he gets ahead of steam. It's three, four yards before anybody's even coming close to touching him. Pickup of nine. Second and Inside one Bearcats territory at the 47. Rush, give it to Markle. Markle hits the they hole, Markle up moves the, of the, field. the pile down to the 41-yard line. Heck of a run for Markle, and it's Number first 66, down for Ravella. Responsible for the tackle. Noah Markle gaining about eight yards and on the play. Markle Except maybe has the wind Eagles. knocked first out of him. That's First and ten, Eagles, Bearcats, 41 yard line. One minute, 30 really seconds to bring left in to play in the third quarter. They get banged up a little bit. They just give them a couple plays to kind of get their win back. He's got to push through. 41 yard line. Markle left side. Oh. And brought down no, in the backfield. Side. Just can't get there in time. That brought is down 82. No That's Lucas Burt. Number 82, Wraps Burt, up. responsible for the tackle. About a yard. Another play that looked like play. it had Mark a chance. Just couldn't now quite get outside. Almost had a Mark step on him. Three yard line. Second down Second and about 12 yards. At the 43 yard line of Bentworth. Eagles have been flirting in Bentworth territory for a while. Oh, There's Rush. Pass. 
High snap, he'll take it and take a knee down to the 45 yard line of Avella. Kenneth Rush so. having a problem with the snap once again, down at the 45 yard there line on the Avella side. We'll be a lot third of and long with the snaps, for the Eagles. It's really just really hurting this offense. That one wasn't quite as high, but I mean, the ball was slippery and it just still was high, and Kenny wasn't able to get a, get a handle on it. And the Eagles and Bearcats will let this time expire here for quarter number three. We go to quarter number four. Ladies and gentlemen, 21 to 8, Bentworth with the lead. Bearcats. We're back Bentworth. right 21. after these messages. Hi, I'm Terry from Cross Creek Bait and Tackle Shop. We're located on the entrance to Cross Creek Lake. As you can see, we carry a large variety of tackles. We carry the largest assortment of live bait in Washington County. We also carry an assortment of live bait fish. We have a various selection of pontoon boats, 14 foot motor boats, kayaks, and canoes, all at affordable prices. Friday Night Lights is presented by Aurora Television Network, powered by the Hickory Telephone Company. Twelve minutes to play on a homecoming Friday night for Ovella, 21 to 8, Bentworth. Scott Blair and Jesse Saunders, privilege to be with you tonight. Rain has stopped, but a wet and messy track, and I think the narrative of the third quarter has been some, maybe some miscues on the snaps. 45-yard line is where the football is spotted. Eagles need the 42 of Bentworth here. Rush throws Markle at midfield, caught it into Bentworth territory right around the 46 yard line. Fourth and 14 coming up. And you gotta wonder here with 12 minutes to play, fourth and 14, you're going for it, right? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go, gotta go for it here. Triton Shirley has been inserted at center. Try a little something different here. Here's Rush. Empty backfield. Oh, he's got him. And it's over to Samuel. It's oh, caught. Beautiful at the play. 20, at the 15, the 10, the 5. Inside the five-yard line. Wow. That was a great pump fake from KJ Rush. And Samuel did a great job selling that. Hook and go. And boy, that was a really, really nice play. First and goal here coming up. First and goal from the four for the Eagles. 11-13 left to play in the fourth quarter. 21-8. The Eagles trying to close in on this one. Jaworski under center. Into the end zone. Where it is an Avella Eagles touchdown. That's Merkel. Great job by the Eagles on that drive. What, what a sequence of plays. Huge pass to Brandon Samuel. Merkel. Head down, punches it in. You've got Rush. And at quarterback, he's going to throw into the end zone. Two point conversion to Samuel is good. So just like that, Eagles answer here early in the fourth quarter 21 16. Bentworth, a ball game late.
ya lo puedo que. There was no question about that. Christian Petrine, who comes up with it. Forty-seven yard line. So you've got Mo on your side here. What do you do with Uncle Mo right now? Run it. Run the ball. They haven't been able to stop it since the end of the second half, and just keep going at them. You've got them demoralized now, and just keep going at them. Boy, what a what a great kick by Brian Humensky there, just executed well, that perfectly. Bentworth thought able to cleanly line. handle that. And the way we go. 47 yard line is where the football is spotted. Rush going to take it up the middle, Rush. back to about the line Balls of scrimmage. His number makes his way back, just about a yard past the line of scrimmage. Short gain on the play. Number 51. Bentworth saying, hey, we're still here. Lukitich we're not going to just let you march down the, the field. <laughs> we'll set up. And second and ten. Second and long nine for our Eagles. Ten minutes, 20 seconds and running here, fourth quarter. But you have to wonder here if you're the Eagles, a slow, sustained drive, keeping the time off the clock and maybe getting this one into the end zone. But there is a flag, on flag the play. down. Oh, timeout. It's going to be a timeout for the Eagles. We'll take a timeout, timeout as well. 21 16. Bentworth Avella with the ball. Left to play in the game. And Avella, a second and 16. 10 on the other side. Bentworth, 21. Range Resources has proudly focused on delivering energy solutions for more than 40 years. Our core values, performance, innovation, integrity, and transparency, guide us in the work we do every day as a natural gas industry leader. These values reflect how we operate as a company and are deeply rooted in our commitment to improving the communities where we work. These leading efforts have included pioneering the Marcellus Shale, now among the world's largest natural gas fields, becoming the first company to voluntarily disclose hydraulic fracturing fluids and developing large-scale water recycling for shale development. Our commitment to fostering thriving communities begins within the walls of our company, starting with the safety and well-being of our employees and extending to the communities Second where we live, and work, ten and support. Coming up for the Eagles. Natural gas is powering our lives. Rush is going to roll near side. He's going to load up. He's going to throw a one Samuel inside the 30 at the 25, at the 20, at the 15, the 10. Down oh. the five-yard line. Inside the five, it's going to be so first and goal, Eagles. <laughs> Benjamin Lukadich pulled the shoestrings there of Samuel. Otherwise, this one was going to the house. This is a career game for Brandon Samuel. He has been the majority of the Eagles' offense. And what a great play. Inside the five of the four-yard line, it's 21 to 16 here. Eagles, Eagles from the four. looking to take the lead in the fourth quarter. Jaworski is going to hand. He's in. Ball in zone. Well, maybe not. 
They're going to call him down to the one. Second down and goal. All the way down to about the three-inch line. The just inside here, the, the one-yard right line. side of the Bearcat defense in on the tackle. Sets up second and goal now from about the one-foot line. Eagles gathering. They'll break the huddle. Dorosky. And off. Rush in zone. Touchdown. Eagles. That's what I'm talking about, Eagles. What a drive. Now you start this one with a start the quarter here with a touchdown, a recovered onside kick. And the Eagles driving down on this one as well. The Eagles scoring a touchdown and now have attempt. a one point lead depending the X, the point after attempt. You've got Rush in the gun, drops the ball. Still got picks time. It up, but plenty no, of time got a man. in the end zone. It is oh! caught by Samuel for two. <laughs> wow. A little high point action there. I'm sorry. Brandon A little. He got hit in the end zone. A little bit early, but still able to pull it down. Brandon Samuel using some of those basketball skills. Go up and get that rebound. You got to want that ball. Tremendous. Pulling it down, it's 24-21. Avella with a three-point lead here. Under nine minutes to play, fourth quarter. Uncle Mo has been on the side of this Eagles team and now a big defense stand needs to come for this Eagles team. Yep, man, that was, what a great drive. And yeah, we're gonna put it in the hands of your defense here. Got all the momentum, you're fired up. Go get him. Yaminski, the junior, set to kick, off is number to kick this one off in the 40-yard line. Let's see. Looks like again another it's going to be another onside kick. And this one is going to be recovered by Bentworth. That is Lukic, Benjamin Lukic, the sophomore, pulls it in. Not the worst call there. I mean, I want to be aggressive, and the, the Eagles defense has played well. You're putting some faith in your defense. It's in midfield, though, for Benworth. First and ten, midfield. Eight minutes, 55 seconds left to play in the game. And you got to believe that Seth Adams is going to try to take control of this one. Daniels and Paterno moving from right to left. Adams, Nothing Paterno, there. but guess who sniffed this one out? That is Big 55, Garrett Hoare, the senior. Dropped in the backfield for about an eight-yard loss. This is a big night for all the Avella seniors. Now Paternal thrown down for that big loss, and it's second down and long. Eight, call it 18 from the Bentworth 43 yard line. Here we go. Adams going to keep it himself left side. Oh He's got some running room across midfield, the 40 yard line. And driven out of bounds. I think Jaworski wanted to hold over there as he was, and he got it. There was a penalty flag down. Jaworski was being held by Ethan Heinrich. And this one's going to be coming back. That is a big penalty for the Eagles. That is about a 30-yard swing for the Eagles. 
Cole Jaworski was trying to roll off of Heinrich, who was blocking, and... Spot foul taken there from the 42-yard line. And this one coming all the way back now down to the 32-yard line. Here's Adams looking over to the sideline. On second down and long. Paternal and Daniels moving onto the right side. Oh, Adams all kind of pressure. taking it again, throws over the middle of Paternal. He's got it midfield, uh, 45, 40, and inside the 40 yard line. Tackle made by number two, Samuel. Heck of a play, Samuel bringing him down, but that's enough for a first down. Move the sticks. Yeah, maybe a little too aggressive there from the Eagles defense. Second and 28. Yeah, you, I mean, you, you want to you, you wanna be aggressive, but you don't want to be so aggressive where you can break a 32 yard gain or however many yards that was. This one's going down to the wire. 37 the yard line, line of Avella. Ball resting. Vitaly On Daniels in line. at quarterback. Daniels takes it himself, hit hard right the line of Number scrimmage. He's not getting much the of anything That's there. Daniels. Nowhere to run there, no gain on the play. Rush credited for the tackle. Timeout, Bearcats. Bentworth is going to take one of its three timeouts here with seven minutes and 20 seconds left fourth quarter. So, Ryan Cicchini, what are we saying in the huddle at this point? Who wants it more? I mean, that's really what it comes down to. It's, it's nothing, I mean, there's obviously some strategy involved, but really it's just about, you know, can you beat the guy across from you? You want to win this game. That's what it's all about. And JJ Nab, if you're if you're strategizing and hitting him at this point, are you going back to the passing game? Uh, we've seen it's it being the run game here that's that's uh, been pretty effective, and maybe some of these short dink and dunk passes as well. Yeah, what's been effective for Bentworth is getting uh, Adams out of the pocket because he's a threat to run. That brings up some of your linebackers and, and that big gain they just had. That's kind of what happened there. I mean, it was a, a big rush. Uh, he sucked in a couple of the other linebackers, and, and, and all of a sudden got a 32-yard pass. So I think that's what they're going to want to do is keep him moving and uh, give him a chance to, to have that run pass option. Adams is back in there after Vitaly Daniels had one play off. He's got the football. Adams is going to roll right side. He's going to throw. Oh! Accepted. Yes, sir. That's Brandon Samuel with the interception. Oh, oh, oh. The play of the year right there for Brandon Samuel. <laughs> I think that's what Ryan Cicchini was talking about in the huddle. Sometimes players just got to make plays. That was tremendous. Diving acrobatic catch from Brandon Samuel. Seven minutes, 14 seconds left to play. Again, a Give little senior Eagles magic and Uncle Mo on Don't your side on a homecoming Friday night. 22 yard line is where the Eagles will have it with a three point lead. Eagles could be in position to just run this clock out I and mean, just keep this drive going and don't give the ball back to Bentworth. Jaroski in at quarterback. Give it to Markle, backfield, up the middle. Fighting for more to the 30 yard line. Nice play on first down up. Seven on the play. Well ah. Mark that eight, picks up eight yards on the play. Harrison Fisher well loses his cool a little bit behind the play. Two. However, there is some laundry on the play. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a hold call. Maybe, maybe not, just a holding. You could see him talking about it with the referee about it. Oh, that will move it back. This is where the focus has got to be 
airtight. The the 15 yard line. It will be replay first down there. Under seven minutes to play. They'll wind first the clock here. For our Eagles from the 15 yard line. Jaworski giving it to Markle. Uh, up to the 24-yard line, right side. So picking up a chunk of yardage here. Out to about the 24-yard line. Got this Number 55, 10 yards back. For the tackle there. And then Mid-down. some, right? Looks like it's going to be second down and eight. Yard line on the Avella side. It is second down. We'll call seven it 12 on the carry. The 24 yard line. Jaworski surveys, takes the snap. Markle again up the middle. No, Markle yeah, makes his way around the 29 yard line. The 29 yard line. Wilson Markle does such a good job there. of falling forward. I mean, Daniels he gets hit, he's getting two, three yards three after yards contact, and, and that makes a big difference. Ball this is a very manageable third down for the Eagles right now. Third and three, and important because the clock is running and the Eagles have a three-point lead here in quarter number four. Jaworski. Gets the football. Markle's oh. got it left side. There he goes. 40, uh, 50, 40, 35, and out of bounds. No, Markle, Markle goes out of bounds, but he picks up a big chunk of yardage here in a Novella Eagles first down. What was that a nice looking play? Finally breaks one outside. Inside the 35-yard line is where he will, the Eagles rather, will have the football. Yeah, what play to see the confidence growing on the Eagles' offense. 34-yard line is where they set it up. Jaroski again in an I formation. He's taking his time here, letting that clock run down. Give it to Rush. Uh, the right hand KJ side, he's on pulled carry off the right down. Hand side, picks up about two yards there. We'll set up Harper second and eight to go. Making Ball the stop. Resting at the 33 yard line. Harper responsible for the tackle there. Four minutes and 35 seconds and counting. Four and a half to play here as time slowly ticks away. Eagles with a football here in no rush. Jaroski to get the football. And he gives it to Markle. Markle up the middle, falling no, to the 25 Markle yard line. Inside, follows his walkers all the way down. This to the 24 yard line. Going to be very clear. Let's see where they spot this for the tackle there. Mark very short, short one. Third and about a yard. yard. Okay. Of the first. They're third and a couple. And ball, the, the stick just on the other side of the 25. Sets up a third and two. Ball to go resting for the on Eagles. Three minutes the other side of the seconds 25. left to play. Now call it a couple here. They're on the 26. Under three and a half to play. J- Jaroski watching the official here on how much time he's got. Milking that clock, giving it to Markle again, left side. Give the no off the left hand side, following his block. Right rush. around the 21 Picks yard line, enough, enough for a for first down. So Eagles, Eagles move, the, move the ball. You got to wonder here if you're JJ Depp, when do you start burning those tackle. timeouts? Avella. Yeah, it's an interesting strategy. I mean, you're going to have to, you got to stop them here. The game's over. I mean, they get, you know, they get. I mean, they got, he's still got two timeouts left. So, I mean, they, you know, you get another first down. It's going to make it real hard for Bentworth. 
Jaroski settles in. And he'll take the snap. Markle up the middle. Legs continue to move. Inside the 15 the yard line. Right down to about the 13. About eight on the play. We'll set up second and Brian Humetsky is just bulldozing people on the offensive Bearcat, line. I've been watching the last couple line. plays, and I mean he is he and Harrison Fisher are doing a great job moving that defensive line on the left side of the Eagles offensive line. Yeah, timeout. timeout taken Bearcats. from Bentworth. Two minutes, and 15 seconds left to play in the game. Eagles have played a heck of a ball game today. The most spirited effort I think we have seen all year from, from this team. And uh, they are two minutes and 15 seconds away from, uh, from party time here. Yeah, I mean, they, they are really feeling the energy of this crowd. They've earned this one. And you know, it's, it's always fun on homecoming. You'll probably get a, maybe 100, 200 more people in the crowd. It's just the energy's there to begin with. And what a great comeback in this second half. And at this point, they just got to put this game away. And it looks like here we're going to add an additional five the seconds to maybe five to seconds the clock. To so two, two minutes and 20 seconds left in this one. There is going to just be one timeout remaining, I believe, for Bentworth at two minutes and 20 seconds. This timeout was charged to Bentworth. After the Bearcat timeout, two minutes, 20 seconds left to play in the game. Avella is driving, second down, three to go, ball on the Bearcat, 14 yard line. Three yards and put this one away for, will really put this one away for the Eagles. Chiroski under center. Markle right side. There he goes. Markle off the right hand side. Party time in Avella tonight. <laughs> yes, sir. Talk about an exclamation point there. It's going to be a fun night tomorrow night at homecoming. Homecoming taking place at Heaven Sent Farms at Abella. It's going to be going to be a fun party tomorrow night for all the students. Uh, will you go and will you dress in a tuxedo? That's the big <laughs> question. Normally I would. I've done my share of homecoming events <laughs> as a DJ, but tomorrow I have a separate event, so I will not be there. Two-point conversion is turned Gilbert away. Markle falls short of the two-point conversion. Ladies and gentlemen, and that's Caleb left Paternal. to play this game. But Eagles are leading it's a nine-point game, so it is a two-score game with two minutes and 14 seconds left in this one. Uh, stranger things have happened, Jesse, but I got to I gotta tell you, this one's going to be pretty tough from Bentworth to, to dig out of. Yeah, I mean, the Eagles aren't going to get caught napping here. They're going to be awake and... You know, they're going to be definitely playing a heavy prevent defense, not letting anything get behind them. Even if Bentworth were to score, uh, it's very unlikely that they'd be able to pull this one out. Very exciting for these seniors, too. I mean, just, you know, it's tough when you're, when you're not winning. I mean, coming off a season last year where the Eagles, you know, were 5-2 and two in the regular season, made the playoffs. That's, that's for the, a lot of these uh, seniors were a big part of that team last year, and, and it's been a tough year, and definitely some injuries have contributed. Uh, but you can see what this team's capable of once, once they get some of their guys back and, and they start really Peter playing now. together with a lot of confidence. What I've been most impressed about Will today has been the guys up front and, and, and meeting Uminsky. tacklers at the line of scrimmage, throwing them down for, for losses, and not letting tacklers break too many. Uh, which is something I think has plagued this team for much of the year. Yeminski to kick it as far as he can here. This one hits. What a kick. Nice kick. It's going to die inside the 10 and be returned. Peter now on the and return. be returned the right out out outside the 20 yard line, right around the 21 yard line. Yard line. Bearcats ball there. First Our and buddy 10 Brandon Samuel on that tackle. Brandon Samuel credited for the tackle. 
One time out in two minutes and nine seconds to work with for Bentworth. Yeah, you're gonna see some you know, safeties playing deep, not, nothing behind you. Obviously, there's still two minutes to go, so you're not, you know, you're, you're, you still got to be on your toes, but just do not let anything get behind you. Still a lot of time, and this is going to be a timeout taken time by the Eagles. Oh, no. So the Eagles will burn one here. And we will take a timeout as well. 2.09 left, fourth quarter, 30 to 21, Eagles with a lead. After the Avella timeout, it's Bearcats ball, first and 10. Ball resting on the Bearcats. First and 10 as we're back to live action here. 209 left. And this ball game, 30 to 21. Eagles with a lead. Adams is going to roll right. He's going to throw it up there. This was almost intercepted by Euler. Almost had it. For number 12. They were trying to find Daniels on that. Oh, they looked like a punt returner. They're just waiting for that ball to come down. Second down, 10 to go. Ball resting is a 20. And Euler line. is 5'6, 160. And Daniels is 6'3. Uh, so it's that's a big boy coming at you. He took a hit. Yeah. He's going to feel that one tomorrow. Seth Adams wants the ball, 2.03 to play. He's going to go crossing route to Paternal. He's got a catch. Eagles trying to keep it in front of him and a big hit and slam down. Number 11 on the reception. Number five, KJ Rush making that tackle. That is a first down out around the 39 yard line. There is a flag. The 20 yard line. Let's see what there that is. For. You're right. There is a flag in the backfield. I did not even see that. Yeah, that flag was thrown pretty quickly as that play developed, but I'm guessing that's got to be on Bentworth probably. Yeah, chop block, chop block and that's the ball against what Bentworth. Move the Bentworth Bearcats backwards here, negating a first down. I want to say a special thank you to Jalen Moore, freshman media production student who's working the secondary camera tonight. Appreciate all the shots of the crowd and the band cheerleaders. 10 yard penalty on the chop block. Places the ball at the 10 yard line. Chop block's going to move it all the way back to the 10 yard line. Adams is hoping for some magic here for Bentworth. Low snap, picks it up, gets rid of it. It is caught on a screen pass in the backfield. And that's 22 making the catch. I believe it's Number 22. 82, Burt on the screen 82, pass. 82, Burt, pardon me. Samuel. Cole Davidson on the tackle. Timeout. Bentworth takes their last timeout of the and game. And the Bearcats will spend the last one here with one minute and 40 seconds. You can feel the, uh, the stadium about to erupt here. It's, I think the fans anticipating this victory. His team has played hard all season long. Uh, and and I think, as you said, tonight it, 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 it felt right. It felt special. Uh, you had all of the pomp and circumstance with homecoming festivities, uh, a full stadium here, uh, lots of things happening this week with parades and pep rallies and things of that nature. And After the time you always out, want to win Denver your homecoming game in front, down, of, uh, in front of home 14, fans. And this is a, a team that's going to get their, hopefully, their a, a well-deserved first win tonight. Aravella Eagles leading 30 to 21. That way. 
But as we said, stranger things have happened here with a buck 40. No timeouts though for Bentworth. Adams steps up, throws across the middle. It's Conta Daniels. Daniels has got the football to the out near the 40 yard line. Across the 40 yard line. Number That's gonna be enough for a first down. Daniels carries the stop ball the down clock. To the 41 yard well, they move the chains. Davidson responsible for the tackle there. Nice job by Cole, or, uh, Cole Davidson making the tackle there, keeping him inbounds. First and 10, Bentworth, 41 yard line. Seth Adams calls for the football. Makes the handoff and rolls right side. He's going to throw, wanting to try to hit, wanting to try to hit 11. And he couldn't find him. He wanted Paterno, and Patrine knocked it away. Second and 10. See number 44, Jacob Lance playing some quarterback. And now a flag thrown. And this is going to be unsportsmanlike conduct. I'm having a feeling on number 11, Caleb Paterno. Yeah, you can see the frustration starting to build about like the A lot of jawing with those officials. Yeah, that's never going to get you anywhere. That's tough. I mean, these guys put a lot of effort in. Yeah, this game could have gone either way, and it's, you can see, I mean, you get frustrated sometimes. And, after the penalty is assessed, an it will be second down. Well, as we talked about earlier, line. the Eagles survived quarter number three, and they've thrived in quarter number four. It has been all Avella since we put four fingers in the air here. Adams to throw downfield. Another He's flag. got a man in there. It's Brand uh, Benjamin Lukanic. Tackle made by number two. And again, another flag down. Flag in the backfield. In the backfield. These referees getting a lot of work out tonight throwing those flags. But they're marching the football backwards Holding again in the hole. The As that penalty is assessed, the out of town scoreboard, Maple Town 43, Jeff Morgan 12, Carmichael's 35, California 20. West Green Refs 28. in no hurry to get to their car here. They, they're final. calling this game to the very end. <laughs> And a later, uh, this one's gone longer in the sense more pass plays uh, tonight. So more stoppages of play. Adams steps up, throws. This one is caught. Cross the 30 to the 35 yard lines, out of bounds around the 35 Number yard 11. lines. It's, out of uh, by it's Daniel, and it's a paternal making it's the catch. A chunk of yards, but not enough for a Bearcat first down. Ball comes up to the 25 yard line. Uh, it will be third a third down third here down and 15 long. yards to go. The Eagles doing just what they needed to do on this last drive. I mean, just not, not only are they slow and bent, we're down, they're moving them backwards. I mean, that, that is just, you couldn't ask for a better sequence here from the Eagles defense. 35 yard line. Here's Adams, he's got the football, steps up, plenty of time, going to throw downfield, he's got a man to make the catch, and that's Lucas Burt, nice grab by Burt, all the way down, the to, the way down to the Eagles 38 yard line, so big first down here for seconds left to play Benworth in the game. There is 37 seconds left on the clock. As soon as they get set, they'll start this clock and wind it. Here's Adams. He's throwing. Caught again by Burt. Is down Number around the 21 yard line. On the reception from Adams all the way down to the. Another first down. Yard line. Another. Bearcats first round. making this interesting here at the end. 24 Bearcats have zero play. timeouts. First and 10 Bearcats. Adams spikes the ball. 
to kill the clock with 17 seconds the left in the game. Stop the clock at 17 seconds. It will now be second down, 10 yards to go. Second down coming up for the Bearcats and fighting to the very the end the here as well. Yard line. Can you imagine if this were an eight-point game? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we'd, be, right. we'd be sitting on pins and needles uh, right now. It's, it's been, I mean, and, and really the reason why it's not every single two-point conversion that the Eagles have gone for, Coming they've made. The the exactly. That, that, that play that Brandon Sam made to, to make it 24-21 very large right now. An 18-yard two-point conversion from Samuel may be the difference in this one. This one thrown, it is caught. Brought down do inside the 10 yard line. And you're right, I think that's gonna, Jorofsky. that is gonna do it. And they get one more play out of it. Adams will kill it, but he does so with triple zeros on the clock. That's it, folks. The Eagles have won tonight 30 to 21 as they send Bentworth back to Bentleyville on a long bus ride. And what worked tonight? Well, I mean, the Eagles' ability to run the ball was just such a, a huge factor in tonight's game. I mean, just you know, Noah Markle, K.J. Rush, I mean, they're three, four yards before they're even getting hit. So, I mean, that, that really allowed them to control the clock a little more, kept the defense off the field. Uh, that was huge. Obviously, Brandon Samuel with a monster game. Once they opened up that passing game, it was just several huge plays, big interceptions at the end. What a, what a game by the Eagles. Can't, can't say enough. Yeah, the teams will shake hands tonight, but Eagles will have their first win of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, join Bentworth us next falls Friday as the Eagles football team to 2-5 now on the High year. School. Kickoff will be at 7 o'clock. So your final score tonight, the Eagles to win on a homecoming Friday here. night, 30 to 21, beating Benworth. We will have well presentation the of the evening. band performance, uh, which we did not get to see the at halftime. Eagles win at Avella. For Jesse Saunders, I'm Scott Willier. Good night. From the Eagles Nest with my spotter, Brad Rankin, and clock operator, Terry Jaroski. Thank you for attending this evening's game. Please have a safe trip home. I want to remind everybody that once we finish, the Avella Band will play their halftime show. Congratulations, boys.
jealous. Range Resources has proudly focused on delivering energy solutions for more than 40 years. Our core values, performance, innovation, integrity, and transparency, guide us in the work we do every day as a natural gas industry leader. These values reflect how we operate as a company and are deeply rooted in our commitment to improving the communities where we work. These leading efforts have included pioneering the Marcellus Shale, now among the world's largest natural gas fields, becoming the first company to voluntarily disclose hydraulic fracturing fluids and developing large-scale water recycling for shale development. Our commitment to fostering thriving communities begins within the walls of our company, starting with the safety and well-being of our employees and extending to the communities where we live, work, and support. Natural gas is powering our lives, providing a cleaner future, and creating exciting opportunities for careers in communities all around the world. We're proud of our accomplishments to date, but we recognize the importance of continuing to raise the bar at every opportunity for our employees and the communities where we work every day.